particular going to talk about a certain blood type. For the last couple of days, I've been talking about eating right for your blood type and how your blood and the food that you eat create chemical reactions called lectins and it causes inflammation. It can tear up your gut. It can cause a buildup of um, yeast and imbalances like that candida type stuff, leaky gut type stuff, ulcers because this chemical reaction is really compromising your gut integrity, right? This leads to autoimmune diseases, sickness, and, immune, and um, diseases. This is the root cause to endocrine sickness and disease, inflammation, mucus, whatever you want to call it, tumor, cyst, fibroid, can't lose weight, anxiety, depression, suicidal thoughts, all of that stuff, ear infection, all of that, right? <laughs> I try to stay positive, yeah, yeah, and on, on social media, you have no other choice but to keep your sound mind. I just posted a video about that because so much going on with money losing its currency and, you know, buying gold and water being nasty can't drink the water in some places and it's just a lot it's a lot you will want to back up from social media and, and, and obtain the sound mind and mental clarity for yourself if not you're going to be in fight or flight mode and stay fearful for everything that's happening because there's so much happening at one time we're getting bombarded by so much information at one time but i like to come and teach about mindfulness in your body as far as it pertains to health and wellness because of that because i know when you operate from a place of fear you on low frequency and you can't really manifest there you can't really get on a healthy side of things there you can't even do nothing all you're good for is the government or scare tactics to get more fear because that's the thing that you're attracting that also weakens your immune system and leads to sicknesses and disease so i stay away from that it is what it is for me, as far as all of that other stuff is concerned, and I operate from a sound mind of being led, as far as finances is concerned, as far as you know, health and wellness is concerned, and the food shortages, you prepare yourself because you have a sound mind. This is what it means in the biblical text, where it says, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of a sound, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Because when you have a sound mind and power and love, you operating at the full potential of your mind, you're tapped into your inner being you are actually waking up the dormant dna inside of you so you gotta stay away from that low frequency stuff so anyway i want to teach you all today about um the what happens so i taught you all about you know you don't know your blood type you go on amazon and you get your eldon kit we all know that already right e-l-d-o-n eldon at home kit find out your blood type when you find out your blood type after you find out your blood type you go to my website Link in bio, saltoftheearthpub.org. There you'll find the, if you're trying to lose weight, you'll find the cheat sheet for um, the weight loss foods that you could eat that'll snatch you back, that get rid of that saggy skin, that'll heal the gut and um, cause all of them imbalances to go away, right? Or you could get the seven day meal plan that comes with a list of all the highly beneficial foods. That way when your blood interacts with the food that you're eating, because you have this new lifestyle, you know what foods are on the positive, reaction of this chemical that's being created you're eating those that way when you get your reaction you're not getting the information and the sickness and disease that come with it but today i wanted to talk about what happens when you first start with whatever blood type we didn't talk about when you start eating your beneficial foods when you start eating your beneficial foods then you're going to experience like a Herxheimer effect, a die off effect. You're going to experience the inflammation subsiding. You're going to experience a lot of symptoms. And I want to talk about them because you probably, some of y'all probably know these symptoms. Some of them, if you had like maybe um, a detox, maybe my sustained detox before, or if you ever went on your own type of um, herbal cleanse or detox. Some of y'all probably know about these symptoms. Wait, I took... I took the um, death power yesterday, but I didn't do it, but it didn't do it. What is, which one is she talking about? Death flower. Show your here some love and share. Which death flower are you talking about? Damn, death flower. I told you to take death flower? I don't, I don't, I don't remember that. Tell me what you're talking about, Gary. So anyway, when you begin to eat these particular um, foods, it's going to cause you to go on, um, go through a die off effect. And some of the symptoms could be diarrhea. I want to, I want to share this with you because huh, 
sometimes people, when they get diarrhea, they want to hurry up and take something to stop them from having diarrhea. And that's not what you're supposed to be doing when you get a die off of that. You're supposed to allow that to come out, to be expelled out of you. So diarrhea, maybe a rash, right? Maybe a rash or your skin may irritate, right? What happens is your lymphatic system is now flowing. Your lymphatic system is the back, back up to your blood. So the back up to your blood is, is where all of the toxins are. So say, for example, you had something that you ate something that wasn't good. Your lymph, your lymph nodes up here will get swollen for a while. It's, it's pretty much like your lymphatic system or your lymph is saying, I got it. I got those toxins, right? I'm going to, my job is to hold on to your toxins so it don't get into the blood, right? So it don't penetrate you out your body. I'm going to hold on to it until you give me something that's going to allow your lymphatic system to move. So that's why it's so important when you're on different types of cleanses for you to have um, water with minerals, um, pink or gray, Celtic or salts inside of it, like electrolytes, like right? And sodium bicarbonates, real spring water. So it's perfect for you to have water. It's perfect for you to go outside in the sun. It's perfect for you to do rebounding, you know, exercising, or even if you could just do some jumping jacks in one spot. If you can't move, clap your hands. That allows... All of your nerve endings are in the palm of your hands and in the sole of your feet. If you can't move out of the bed and you're back sick, clap your hands. Allow your lymphatic system to move. Tap your feet together in the bed while you're sitting there. That's a good exercise for your lymphatic system. And so the reason why um, you want to do this is to allow it to move. Because it picks up, your lymphatic system picks up all of the trash and the debris, right? And so when you're eating these healthier, highly beneficial foods now for your blood type, it's really pulling all of that inflammation, all of them acids, because that's what inflammation really is, the acids in your body from the foods that you was eating that created a negative chemical reaction based upon your blood type. It's pulling that and it is drawing that and your lymphatic system is moving that. Your lymphatic system is moving that so your job is to constantly drink your, your fruits that's on your list, your seven day meal plan list, to expel that and so you're probably going to notice that maybe your urine gets a little bit um bulkier like these are all, these are all of the things that i've been through in my past so maybe if you if you um have symptoms you can put them in the comments and we'll talk about that too what is the name again i can write it down i don't know oh you talking to somebody else oh okay then um anyway so if you have um, any die off effects or any um, symptoms from your eating for your blood type um, meal plan, let me know. But in the past, when I began, I noticed that my, even with my 90 day fast, I noticed that my urine got thicker. Like, like when you sit in there urinating, it's just like a, it's just like a heavier weight in the urine and that's pretty much i'm trying to explain it as best as i can in layman's terms so that's pretty much all of those acids that's the sediment because all of the acids go to the lymphatic side of your body versus to the blood which is supposed to be more alkaline so being that you're on a seven day meal plan that's conducive of removing acids you have to drink water you have to drink the juices in your meal plan in order for it to be expelled out of you so your tonsils your all your lymph nodes throughout your body you got a gang of lymph nodes underneath your armpits right here in your neck and then a lot around the growing area but you have them all over your body you even have some as the backup for your um digestive system right and so all of that is being pulled to every lymphatic or lymph node housed in your body and all of this has to go towards your kidney but above your kidneys is your adrenal glands and so it goes through it has to be released through the adrenal glands and going back to stress we can't be stressed out worried about the crap on tiktok while we're doing this because now wait a minute thank you i've been working on draining my lymphatic system okay this is a perfect um a video alive for you to be watching v so now we can't be stressed we gotta have our sound mind because if we're stressed now our adrenal glands is stressed and now we can't release through our kidneys so this is what get the hell off 
excuse how I'm saying this here, but you got to hear it sometimes. All these love and light talk, some of y'all don't hear when people talk love and light. You got to get your ass off of TikTok. You got to stop worrying about the freaking, the money thing. All things are working out for me. How about you, you say that thought? How about you say, you know what? I am in alignment with my inner being and I can't get this thing wrong. All I'm doing is learning and winning because you spend yourself, you spend your days on TikTok, worry about the money crashing and worried about um, what else is going on out there that I, I saw. Maybe the money thing is, is a thing and, and um, exchanging it for the, um, the, the, the XRPs and, and new currency and this and that with the interest rate and my 401k and all this you worry about all of that crap and now your adrenal glands is 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 is, is, is being affected you can't worry about that when you own this here when you all come in here the next video after i get off of live can't be nothing chaotic you gotta practice stillness of mind because your body depends upon it if you are in fight or flight mode this part of your body blood ain't circulating in because you gotta be strong and ready to fight. Your legs gotta be strong and ready to kick because now your body, your immune system is saying, hey, wait, she's afraid. There must be danger. Stop the blood flow from here. Bring the blood flow into the um, extremities of her body. And so don't come over here with all of that stress and talk about, well, it ain't working for me. It's not. You got to breathe. You got to let that crap go. You got to practice mindfulness. You got you to gotta be still and know that I'm God. Let that stuff go. That's how you got in the place of dis-ease in the beginning by holding all that in. Oh my God. Oh, I might lose my job. Oh my God. I feel something going on in my body. I wonder what that is. Oh my God. I wonder if I'm going to get that, that sickness too. Oh my God. Oh my God. By watching all them silly ace commercials and things on the news. The commercials that tell you all of the side effects. But, but also at the same time tell you the same, the things that you're fearing. Hey, are you experiencing da 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 da? Then they tell you about how good the medicine gonna be, and then at the very end, oh yeah, you might have to get your leg amputated, and serious side effects may happen. And so you don't know what the hell to do. You gotta get out of that rat race now. Be still, be easy with yourself. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. If you're one of those people that listen to all of that crap, take a deep breath in to allow oxygen to be delivered to the rest of your body, to your extremities. To allow your mind to be, to feel like, oh, there is no danger. Oh, that was a false alarm. We can calm down now and we can allow the adrenal glands to release to the kidneys because they got a whole bunch of stuff in here. We could be easy with ourselves. Oh, we could continue to clean house. Oh, we could have a good night's sleep and we could really detox tonight and we don't have to worry because she's safe and we don't have to fight we don't have to kick nobody ass right now we can chill out you better learn how to chill out so back to the lymphatic system so the lymphatic system's job is to clean out all of these acids and that's why for every blood type keep this in mind well, for every blood type key limes and liver, lemon are good for every blood type Key limes and, live and lemon get rid of that uric acid buildup and that lactic acid buildup in the physical. But you not stressing in the, in the spiritual gets rid of this too. So I'm going to need you to do both the physical and the spiritual to become one with self, God. Practice your mindfulness by taking a breath. Go your little self outside and allow the sun to ignite you, charge you back up energetically. Yeah. How about you say to yourself that I'm only learning and winning? How about you say that to yourself? I'm trying to teach you how to do the spiritual side and the physical. Because they both go hand in hand. They're one. They're just two sides of that oneness though. But you need to understand and learn this because you're going to have to learn this for every dimension you enter in every state of being in life you're going to be in and how to overcome yourself. Hey, hey, Unbox, how you doing? Thank you for being here. 
bullseye. Hey, hey, they got a glare over here. Being black in America is hella stressful. Don't watch the news or television. Yeah. And now I find your life. There you go. Welcome. Welcome. The Amber Energy. Is that what that is? Thank you. Thank you for being here. They got a glare. Wow. I started looking into lymphatic drainage three weeks ago. I want the hell message class two weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah. A LD. Okay. Yeah. That's beautiful. So now you ask energetically. See, the, the spiritual side don't never sleep on you. That's what I'm trying to get you all to see. It don't never sleep on you. You're manifesting through your spiritual. This person just said, wow, wow, I just started looking into it. And the, here this person comes on my life on the day that I'm talking about it. Because we always sending out a signal with our subconscious mind. We're always asking through our subconscious mind. And our word or what we ask for cannot come back to us null and void now. Asking ye, shall be answered. It's going to be given. And here, he, in this simulated environment, he has his answer. Because you never ask and don't get that answer. So energetically, if you're sitting there and you're, you're asking or afraid of, of being more sick, you're asking through that fear is what I want you to see. Let that go and learn how to just be. Take a deep breath and feel what it feels like to have a clean lymphatic system. Feel what it feels like to, to be in that state of being already. You got to feel it already before you could ever get it with anything in life. Feel healthy right now. Feel like your meal plan right now is working for you. I'm teaching, I'm giving you the, 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 the cheat code for to, to, to trump this physically, but you also have to know how to do it mentally, God. Because all is mine. And if your mind is focused on it not working, so shall it be. Because ask and you shall receive. Your word cannot come back to you void. Remember that in this journey. So for those of you who are just getting here, the meal plan is available on my website. The link is in my bio. It's called a seven-day meal plan. And it said... Hey, Gorilla God. And it's pretty much spirit means breath only. Yeah, yeah. The breath of life. The breath of life we're talking about. Not the breath of death. Not the breath of breath of fear. Not the breath of being banned on TikToks. Who gives a darn? I don't. And, for, and I don't have a whole, whole, whole lot of followers or supporters, I like to call them. But I have a good handful if I put them all together. If I put them all together, I'm, out, I'm about at 65,000 here. But if, it, if I'm gone tomorrow, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, because in this journey, you got to be being conscious is being conscious of your state of being up in here. That's what being conscious is all about. Being conscious ain't about being fearful of something being taken away because being conscious understands that oh, to live is to die. Okay. If there's good, there's bad. Okay. If there's light, there's darkness. Okay. <laughs> Releasing the um, attachments from all things is really what consciousness is all about. And you decide, I am who I say. Okay, it's about flow. It's about being in alignment, being conscious of how I feel, being conscious of what I'm thinking about, being conscious of what my energy is like, being conscious of being in alignment with my inner being, being conscious of whether or not I'm hearing my inner being, or am I so low that I I have ears and I ain't hearing my inner being no more. That's what being conscious is really all about. Now, don't get that twisted. Don't forget about that part. And so being conscious in your physical, if you're experiencing this ease in your body, is being conscious that you ain't even the dare go body. You give orders to the body to do what you want it to do when you're conscious. <laughs> so here we go. So that's the lymphatic system. We're going to clap our hands if we want to move or stimulate the lymphatic system. Clapping our hands, the palm of our hands, 
nerve endings in our hands. I used to teach this to the linemen in my group when I worked in construction. And I would stand up, we would get in a sunrise meeting, and I would tell them to, you know, to, to tap their hands, to clap their hands, right? And another thing that I would teach them or show them to do, if you could stand, you know, this is for people who may be obese, you know, it's hard for them to lose weight, or maybe they, it's gloomy where they live and they can't go out to the gym or whatever. Stop on your feet. Clap your hand and stop on your feet at the same time. This is lymphatic movement, drainage, right? This is blood flow. You know, you have your blood flowing because your heart beating is pumping it. But what's moving that lymphatic system? If you go to work, sit down, get up for lunch, sit down, go home, get in your car, drive home, sit down, cook dinner, sit down, take a shower, lay down. <laughs> what's moving the lip because you don't have recess no more you know when we were children the limp was moving a lot because we had pe we did jumping jacks at pe yeah remember that we used to run behind our friends after school remember that the lymphatic system was draining energetically we would go outside a lot of adults don't do that no more so you gotta practice little small things to keep your lymphatic system moving outside of that movement i told you about the key lines I told you about the lemons that help with the lymphatic system draining. I told you about deep breathing that helps with the lymphatic system draining. We got to get these acids out of there. I told you about the meal plan. The seven day meal plan are all highly beneficial foods that's going to have that lymphatic system moving. That's the backup for your blood. You back that thing up right there and you are in trouble. Everybody that have a backed up lymphatic system and ain't doing anything physically, or mentally to clean up that blockage, they're experiencing this ease and disharmony with themselves. So I'm teaching you how to get out of this ease and disharmony for free. Not only am I teaching you that, I'm empowering you so that you can teach other people in your family and get the family meal plan so you can stop getting the inflammation, so you can stop being out of balance, so you can stop accumulating all of these acids in your body. Because these acids is the thing that's causing you inflammation. So once you get the meal plan and you're on this journey and you begin, you may experience a rash. It's okay. You didn't have a rash before, but a last rash don't normally even last long. It is be something that just show up and go. It's because this blood is, everything got to re-enter into this blood again, right? And so just imagine this is a, a, a hose pipe, for example, a hose pipe, right? And inside the hose pipe, they got... Maybe it was sitting in the garage and they got some sand or something inside of it or, or something, some chemical maybe was in the hose pipe before you hooked it to the nozzle. Well, the chemical that was in it or the dirt that was in it, it got to flow through the rest of the hose pipe before it's eliminated out the body because the fresh water that you didn't hook the pipe to is now trying to flow through the hose pipe. So being that that's how it is in energetically in your body, being that you have all this, these assets and maybe all of this old mucus and this old fecal matter and this old garbage from the old way of thinking and the old way of eating, it got to flow through all up in here before it is expelled out of your body via your bowel movement or your urine. So via the kidneys, the adrenal gland opening up to the kidneys or via the large and small intestines, opening up, going to the bowel duct, right? So either way, you gonna feel that thing. And so some old sickness might come up. And old cramps. The old gotta come through like the hose pipe. The clear house, the clean the lymphatic system. That's all that's happening. And so you might get diarrhea. You might be a little irritable. You might need to rest a little bit more than normal. Listen to your body though and do it. You might maybe get a slight headache. Let me see what else you would probably do. You might um, you might maybe wake up in the, in, the, in the middle of the night even with an upset stomach. Um, these are all common die off of effects. You might get exaggerated dandruff in your head if you have a whole bunch of acids up there. The dandruff will get a little bit worse 
before it get better. And you know this just like when you want a regular antibiotic. The doctors will tell you, first of all, they'll tell you don't stop taking it in the middle of its course. They'll also tell you that the symptoms could get worse before it get better. It's no different from when you change your diet and start eating right for your blood type. Ain't no different. So it, 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 a lot of people, though, they trust medicine. It's kind of twisted. They'll trust the medicine more than they'll trust food. Like, oh, what that is? I don't oh, know. I, I don't know. I don't know if I should put that in my body. Kale. Oh, no. Why is it so bushy? It looked like outside green stuff. You know, they would actually say that about healthy foods. But the doctor said, take this pill. That oh oh little drug dealer he just came to the lobby and he you know he gonna give me a little extra bonus or something if I if I um, promote this here thing to you he ain't been researched much better yet do you want to do part of the research do you want to be one of the, the lab rats that's on the, on online to do the research oh we'll pay you for that too if you want to do that but here take this pill and you're like all right doc and you we just proudly just carry our pill for life all right yeah well my doctor got me on da 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 what he got you on. Oh, I'm, I'm on so many middle leaves. How many you got? Oh, yeah, it working for you? Yeah, well, sometimes it don't work for me either. But I still take it, you know, because the doctor had said it. <laughs> but food has always been our medicine, baby. Come on back to your first love. Food has always been the healer for the nations. Come on back. So when you order the meal plan, these type of symptoms you're going to experience, and I'm trying to tell you, don't give up. Don't you quit. Because if you, when you take it the first time, and if it's according to your blood type, it should not cause, it will not rather, cause any type of, of negative effect. The die off your feeling is because it's eating away all of them pathogens, all of that old fecal matter, and it's gathering up together all of those things that have not served you. All of those things that cause your ulcer to start, your leaky gut to start, your autoimmune disease to start, your inflammation, whatever it is you have, it's picking that up and it's getting rid of it. Whether it releases through your kidneys or through your bowel, it's making way for it to be expelled out of your body. Oh, another thing, you might smell. <laughs> you might begin to smell like crap. Because think about this here. A dumpster that's been setting that I'm talking about one of them commercial dumpster let's say that's at a seafood, uh, seafood restaurant and a truck driver ain't come how long has it been since me you probably detox oh never oh the truck driver ain't come in 30 years imagine that type of dumpster well when you start using the bowel I mean the bathroom your bowel after you do this type of cleanse or this type of meal plan your bowel gonna be raunchy down because now that lid, that 30 year old dumpster lid is open. <laughs> oh, it's open. And they got parasites up in there. They got maggots up in there. That's gonna stink. And it's gonna smell gutter. <laughs> I'm just trying to be bluntly honest with you. But here's the beautiful thing. You gotta go through that to get that out of you because you smell like that and you really don't know it. You don't know it. It's almost like when you quit smoking or if you just don't like smoking and you're around a smoker, you smell it and it's like grotesque to you, but the smoker is all in its pores and stuff. You don't, they don't smell it. They're looking at you like, what's wrong? I, ain't, I mean, I'm smoking over here. This ain't bothering you. But they reek with smoke, right? And you can't stand being near the smoke. But they don't smell the smoke on their body. It's like pork eaters. They don't smell the stench of pork, but let the smoke smoker stop smoking. Let the pork eater remain refrain from pork. And then if they will go around that smell, they'll understand. They now they can't tolerate it. Now it's nasty to them. You can't smell this stuff. <laughs> Just the oh does our breath smell also good. No. Just see the first part. <laughs> The vow when you're releasing this. The vow when you're releasing this. And so, here's the, here's the interesting thing about this. When you get rid of all of that, your vow don't stink. 
You know how they have that saying, uh, oh, you think you're S-H-I-T? Don't say, well, it ain't supposed to. <laughs> well, it, so if you're like at a place in your journey where you tearing up the, you know how guys, they'll laugh about it like, man, what the, what is that? A dead rat up in there? I, I dropped a low, you know, just being playful or whatever. Well, there's something more than, 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 than you think going on inside of you if you smell it like that. That's some parasites. That's some old fecal matter. And that old stuff that you're smelling, if your crap smells like enough to run people out the room, that what you're smelling is causing you disease and disharmony. You got to get that up out of there. Because you're not supposed to stink like that. You, we, we not, honestly, if you really want to get down to it, we, we're not even really supposed to be needing to wear um, deodorant or smelling stink. When we do, when we have our movements, which, which is not. Because you think about it, go back to the dumpster idea that I said. So, so the, so, so the dumpster, had it been cleaned and dumped with all of the seafood, it wouldn't be foul. It wouldn't have the maggots. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be so protruding. It would even painful periods. We're not supposed to be experiencing no painful periods endometriosis and the fibroid issues that's a sign of toxicity in our body so we got to understand when we're in a state of toxicity and versus when we releasing those toxins and finally being purged so, so so in the beginning when you being purged on this here journey you might start to smell you might have to take a, a shower in the middle of the day but it, it, in, in, in the level how, how long it's going to last depending upon how toxic you are Depends upon how toxic you are, how deep it is, how long it's been since somebody came and dumped that seafood dumpster in your life. And so if that equivalent to you never having a parasite cleanse or never detoxing your body, well, you might, it might be like a week for you. If you might be just wrong shit for a whole week, it might be two weeks. It might just be two to three days for some. It might not be nothing for others. Everybody has a different level because everybody been eating different things. Everybody been having different mindsets. So it's going to be different for everybody. But what I'm trying to share with you is you, everybody at some level is going to experience some type of die off effect when they begin to eat right for their blood type. Point blank, blank period. Go through it because there is light at the end of that. At the end of that, that is wholeness, that is health and wellness, that is you finally being alleviated from all of the things that was knowing on you, you finally being in balance. I'm talking about in balance as far as your health is concerned and chimed into the integrity of your gut where 70 to 80 percent of your immune system lies in your gut. You done finally broke through, through them pathogens, through them parasites, through that leaky gut, through that autoimmune disease, through the kidneys being tampered with or, or not operating or functioning because you were so freaking stressed out to the high blood pressure, to the fact that you ain't got no edges no more and your hair is thinning and you stressed out and you depressed and, and you got the gout and you got this, this, and you got this tumor, and you got this fiber, all of that. It's going to ache you a little bit before you get to your light. But there is light at the end of it. Okay, I want to make sure that I'm catching up on these um, comments. Let me look at these right quick. Let's see. I eat clean, whole organic food, tons of veggies, sprouts, berries, lemons, and no processed food. And I think that is so beautiful. Africa. I love that. I love that for you. So pretty much you, you eat it for your blood type. You eating for your blood, right? Type, take it all at the same time. Yeah, yeah. You take it all at the same time. You talk about you take multiple things at the same time. Judas, take what all at the same time? Tell me that. Explain that. Explain that one to me. That's right. Hey, Dwayne. Thank you for being here. Let's say, yeah. Even more reason to eat right. Yeah, because your insides are gonna be smelling. So this goes back to the bread too. So so for those so those that have so it depends upon where it is because you know they got people that have halitosis simply because of the um, compromised gut, the imbalances in their gut, 
And so they, if they have mold and yeast, that candida type stuff, you know, if they have these parasites up in there, yeah, that, that smile of their dumpster, this is going to be their dumpster. It depends upon if they dumpster further down up in here in the large and small intestines or up here. So if it's sitting up there right there in, in gut, and they know, they know, they already know because those are the ones that carry gum and, 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 and peppermints everywhere they go. They know. Those are the ones that wake up in the morning and they have to brush their tongue because the gut is showing, the, the tongue is a mirror to the gut. So the gut is showing them, hey, there's yeast up in here, too much of it. We're going to put it on your tongue. And so in the morning when you wake up, when you wake up and see that, I hope you grab some key lines and some lemons. I hope you listen to the data that I'm going to show you on TikTok that's teaching you, if you click on a link in her bio, that you need to be eating for your blood type. You need to be the main one with the seven-day meal plan because your yeast is wilding out up in here. You constantly getting yeast infections in your vagina. Even if you're a man, you constantly carrying yeast on your penis. But some people ain't hearing that. And so those people that have that white coating on their tongue, because your tongue not supposed to be white. I'm sorry. It's not supposed to have film on top of it. I'm sorry. So those people that have that, that's going to stink, stink a little bit more when they get into their detox effect. Because what? So, the, so let me give you another image. So if you have an old sausage, you don't have... You don't have no balance in your gut if you, if you have a bunch of yeast up in there, right? You got um, you got a bacteria overgrowth, the negative kind. So that means <laughs> for about 20 years ago, you ate some kind of seafood or some hot sausage sandwich, and you didn't have no balance there, and the hydrochloric acid wasn't plentiful in your gut. So that hot sausage sandwich sat there in there for all of them years because you ain't never cleaned up. You got your oil change on your car, but you ain't never cleaned up your gut. And so it sat there and every time you belch, maybe a oh, whole week later, you belch and you were still belching up the stench of that hot sauce sandwich. And you thought that that was normal. No, that was because the hot sauce sandwich didn't really get broken down. But then you were still eating on top of it. And because you didn't have nothing to break it down, now you got mold. Like it, things started fermenting up in here, mold and stuff like, right? And so now when you, to somebody, they like, God. Damn, you done took my eyebrows off, off my face. My eyebrows and my eyelashes then came off because your breath. Simply because you got mold, yeast going on. So when you detox and you start to eat right for your blood type, the first thing that's going to happen is the taste in your mouth. It's going to taste a little different. Some people say that it is a metallic type taste. But you know, because like constant, consciously, we know like when we have like um, uh, unfamiliar feeling, even if you don't smell the stench, because some people, they mucus in so much compromise in their head too. So they got so much mucus that they can't really smell the stench. But you know by the taste in your mouth, whether or not it tastes like it's smelling fresh or it tastes like it might be sending out a signal that it don't smell too good you know that so when you begin to eat these foods and these these foods for your blood type are positive what they're gonna be doing in there is trying to eat that thing away so you're gonna you're gonna taste like a kind of chemical taste in your mouth and when it get down to the nitty-gritty of what caused it that hole that ulcer that the hole from that leaky gut, that also and the fact that he didn't have any any hydrochloric acid up in there no more to break that down. When you get to that point or state of being, you're gonna taste a certain taste in your mouth. Your stomach will probably it's gonna kind of feel kind of like there's a little fire that's being ignited up in there. And you probably think you probably because you don't know yourself just yet. You probably think wait I got heartburn or something. It feel kind of warm up in there. You ain't never, that's because it's been 20 years since it was warm with hydrochloric acid. The thing that you needed to break down your food. You ain't have none. <laughs> and so all of these body changes that happen with people, some people give up on this. But don't give up on eating right for your blood type. It is the only thing that's going to work for you. All that TikTok viral stuff. TikTok makes stuff go viral if you don't pay attention. If you ain't never pick, pick game it. TikTok make your fears go freaking viral. Let me just be the one to tell you. <laughs> TikTok make the things that you've been paying attention, they give you more of that. Just like your subconscious mind, though. Give up more. 
The blessings of God are getting their main according to how you feel. So if you feel sick, all you're going to see on your timeline is a whole bunch of, oh, I'm sick too. Yeah, me too. And, and then you're going to get in your bin. Look, we sick folk got to gotta come together and we got to join. There's going to be a war against sickness. And you still on the bandwagon of sick. But the only way to get from over there is to come to the other side, to wellness. But your emotions, your fear got you over there and got you stuck. And you being manipulated. Come to the other side. On the other side, it teaches you how to have a sound mind. I'm sitting here teaching you sound mind on one channel. Then on the other channel, I'm teaching you about health and wellness. Come on over. So yeah, so that explains the, the 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 ones that have the smell in their breath, you know. And for the ones that have the um, dandruff in their head, they already had acids up there. They already had acids because if you think about a dandruff, white, just like the white coating on the tongue, being yeast and fungus, like right. You think about dandruff, dandruff are white. What do you think that white stuff is? Acids. <laughs> it's showing you where you were acidic at. Well, your lymphatic system has a lot of acid that it ain't, it ain't flowing. So, this leads to another thing that I just thought of. When you start to eat right for your blood type, you might feel like draining sensations, like stuff like, like you underneath the shower head. And it's almost like it's just falling down your head, the little sprinkles of the shower falling down your head, but you ain't doing nothing. You got your clothes on and you're not in the shower. What is that falling down on your head? That's that information subsiding. That's the acids in the lymphatic system that are draining and trying to get up out of you. Some people get scared of that. But it is a feel-good thing. It actually feels good to get rid of that inflammation. It feels good to get rid of that inflammation, but a lot of people would stop. Like, oh no, I don't know. I'm a, uh -uh, something didn't feel right. I'm about to go back. I'm about to go back to my hot sauce sandwich. Come on now. Some of us are just trying to find excuses while we should stay in our old program because we done got or developed an emotional attachment with them things that's been hurting us for so long. That's where you really get real with it. You know it's you. It's you stopping you. It's you stopping you. Ain't no government. It's you stopping you because you afraid of your, your full potential, God. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it really be, but hey, let's see. Yes, I just learned about key lime as the ordering yesterday, but I sweat a lot. Yeah, actually, I have a key lime peel powder. You can even use key lime peels. You could get a key lime, cut a key lime in half, squeeze the juice, put it in your drink. Key lime so cool. I love key lime. I need it. Well, I guess I can't get money off of the, the key lime. I was about to say key lime. Somebody in the key lime world need to... You, you need to do a partnership because I talk about key lines a lot. <laughs> but anyway, you get the key lime, you squeeze it in your drink, you drink your key lime water with it, you keep that key lime, and you put that sucker up in the um, refrigerator. Put it in the freezer or the refrigerator. And now you put it in a Ziploc bag because you don't want nobody to, you know, use it. That would be nasty after you put it on your armpit. Put it in a Ziploc bag and put your name on it. And that could be your personal deodorant if you want to do the raw way. Or you could, on my website, I have a key lime peel deodorant where you could just use the key lime peel powder as your deodorant. Because any other deodorant with all of those, with all of those binders and, and extra chemicals, all them other deodorants, just think about it. You just sloughing some more stuff on top of your lymph noise lymphatic system because this is the area where there's a gang of lymph nodes house this is this is a plentiful area around your neck is a plentiful area around in, in the back of your gut like around your gut and right here in your groin there's a gang of lymph nodes and so if you just oh girl i i gotta make sure i have enough you ever seen these type of people that just keep on going Keeping all the sweat in. But the lymphatic system was designed for you to sweat. For you to release. But we done got so we done got so um different or conscious of sweating till we don't want to see anybody with we don't want nobody to see if we have any kind of moisture underneath our arms because oh no, I'm ashamed. Ashamed of what? That your body working? That you're releasing your toxins? 
But here's the thing, though. In the beginning, when you start to unclog that, because I remember years ago when I got from the anti-perspirants and moved over. I wasn't at the key line just yet, but my first move was moving over to the deodorant. And, man, after you come off of antiperspirants and you've been on them for so long and you've been clogging up your lymphatic system right there for so long and you try to go natural, for me, it was maybe about two or three weeks. Like, I was sweating like a leaky faucet. That's how toxic I was. That's how I know about this, these things that I'm sharing with you because I done been through it all or done helped somebody on a healing journey and the, the seeing them experience the darn thing. So yeah, for weeks, I remember I used to have to carry the, in, my, in my purge, the deodorant in my purge. Because I had come from such a toxic lifestyle. You know, I'm from the South. We had crawfish. We had pork chop, we had steaks and potatoes, we had Popeyes, two-piece spicy white with mashed potato and a jalapeno pepper, which my lungs for pretty much three days out of the week when I went to work, when I used to work. So I know, I wasn't eating right for my blood type. And all of them chemicals from Popeyes food, all of them chemicals from them pork chops that I ate in my day, all the maggots and stuff like that, they say, they say oh, just fry it, so oh, can you eat the fried worms? The fried parasites from the pork? The dirtiest of all of the animals, the genetically modified pork, no blood type. When you eat for your blood type, no blood blood type has pork up in there. It's highly beneficial because it benefits nobody. And so I lived off of that. And so when it was time for my body to detox, I saw that. I saw that with my release. I saw that with the amount of sweat. I used to sweat profusely. But that was my lymphatic system saying, oh, finally, finally, she stopped clogging us up with the, with the antiperspirant because she wasn't going to use the bathroom. We couldn't get to the bowel. We were trying to get through the, through the mucus, but we only had one spot in her nose. And we couldn't get out of her armpits because there was so much of that white stuff that she kept putting on us every morning and every night. If, if, if our lymphatic system could talk, you know, it'll be like, could you, could you chill out? I'm trying to save your life here. What the hell is you doing? Do you want to live or not? <laughs> you know, for real. Oh my goodness, I got 68 messages. I'm behind. I'm all positive, hurting all day, every day. They diagnosed me. Yeah. Yeah, I was diagnosed with all kind of different things myself, baby. How about you eat right for your blood type? There's a meal plan, a seven day meal plan on my website. On my website, the seven day meal plan is available. My website address is soulsyearthpub.org. Let me put my website on here. Miss B and Soul, you still up in here? I done lost my comments and stuff because I'm way behind. I was running my mouth. But that's my website if you all can see my post. If you all can see my post, let's see. I always took medicine now. Uh, I quit and I'm a. I'm. Oh, I'm fat. What do I do? <laughs> you know what? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It tricked my mind because when I saw the words, I'm fat, I didn't want to say that. And it was like my mom was saying, don't say that. She did not type, or he did not type that. <laughs> don't say that. And so I was trying not to read it, but that's what you said. You said it. I'm fat. What do I do? That is funny. Man. Go to my website. The link is in my bio. If you click on my picture, there's a, if you don't want to do that, just type in, in your search engine, salt of the earth, P-U-B dot O-R-G, salt of the earth pub dot O-R-G. There you will find a cheat sheet. I got a cheat sheet, an instant weight loss cheat sheet for those of the people who is like this one. What's your name? Let me see. Uh, Fasse, Fasse, I think that is. For those of the people that are like underscored F A S, Fast Eight, Fasse, Face. I cannot see um that from that glare. But anyway, I think I'm saying that wrong. I know I'm saying that wrong. For those of the people that just like that, go to my website and look for the instant cheat code. You're gonna see on that one. You're gonna see a, a picture of green herbs. 
a green herb. I'll show it to you right now. It's a cheat code. You just, what you do when you fat, is just you eat the foods that's going to kill or destroy the fat for you. That's what you do when you fat. Because your body is supposed to be getting snatched from the food. The food's supposed to snatch your, your body back together. You don't need no, I just did a video about the waist training. You don't need no waist trainer to suck it up and you can't breathe. All you need to do is eat the right things that'll draw up all of that loose skin, that'll suck up your stomach, that'll keep your stomach snatched, that'll heal all of that, that um, candida and yeast and the pathogens that's in your gut. Bring your beneficial bacteria in alignment. Let me show it to you. Let me unplug this here. For those of you that are on the website, if you can see this here, this is the homepage to my website, right? And if you scroll down, let me get you. Let's see. If you keep on scrolling, you got to keep on scrolling. That's me on the website. These are the products that I offer. You keep on scrolling. Keep on scrolling. It might be a little sooner for you because the last time we had different devices. We had different devices and if you had an iPhone, it was like the fifth thing on the iPhone. But here we go. Right here is weight loss cheat code for my blood type. So if you when you find out your blood type, you click on this here. You order the one for your blood type. When you order this for your blood type, now you know all the fruits. All of your oils, all of your meats, all of your vegetables, the highest beneficial of them all that's going to increase your health. That's going to cause you to lose weight instantly. Let's click on it. Look, there it is. I don't want to say prices, but if you can see that, you can see the price on it. Or you go find out the price yourself, because if I talk about prices, TikTok, I'll be violating their you know their little codes and all that and so i don't want my my video to get banned but this here tells you it's an instant download this is a list of foods meat seafoods nuts dairies herbs and spices fruits vegetables condiments grains oils that will guarantee late weight loss by enhancing your metabolism just by eating them so if you are overweight, there you go. But if you ain't trying to use lose weight and you're just trying to get rid of that um that 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 leaky gut, that autoimmune disease, them kidneys that's hurting you, you're trying to clean out that lymphatic system. How about you just start eating for your blood type? So when you have a chemical reaction between your food and your blood, it'll be beneficial for you instead of causing you more and more inflammation and sitting there tearing up your digestive system and allowing these foreign invaders from the food that you're eating to grow and multiply. So if you're that person, you'll click on this image. And this is just a picture of blood, blood types. So you click on that one and there you go. A complete meal plan. It's downloadable too. A downloadable meal plan for immediate results based upon your blood type. If you don't know what your blood type is, that's when you go to Amazon and you find out your blood type by ordering the Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, at home kit to find out your blood type. Yeah. The kit is under, let me put my hands up. I don't want to talk about dollars on this here. It's under these amount of dollars. It's really affordable. And... You can get three to four if you have a whole family and everybody in the family can find out their blood type. Then when you everybody in the family know their blood type, get the meal plan for the blood type. Now you know all the highly beneficial foods for the blood type to avoid sickness and disease in the family. High blood pressure don't run in the family. No, it don't. The family eating the same darn thing. The family using the same oils, the family getting the same information, the family having the same stress factors. That's what's running in the family. Okay? Ain't, ain't no high blood pressure that's running in the family. And if you're sick, 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 and you can't move around and go to the store and do the meal plan just yet, there's also a at-home, the final thing, 
an at-home herbal potion based upon your blood type. This is a picture of it. So if you get the herbal potion based upon basic herbs that you probably don't know are highly beneficial for your blood type that are trigger that um a trigger healing based upon your blood type would have had that information society based upon your blood type there's an herbal potion you could put together and a potion is designed to give life and take it away so for you it's giving you life but it's taking away the life of those parasites and pathogens and that information and anything that's vexing you or that also that gout is taking life away from it because it's destroying it by putting the information out and allowing that stuff to be expelled out of your body, whether it's fibroids, whether it's mucus, whether it's tumors and cysts, whatever you call it, you want to expel it out of your body via the herbs that you give yourself. Versus a doctor going inside of your body and open it up. Because when they open that thing up, all of them critters and stuff spread. This is why they can to why this cancerous type of situation spread throughout the body after the doctor beat them went up in here trying to take that thing out. And then, you know, on top of that, they'll give you acids, chemo acids, to destroy an already aesthetic environment because it's acids to begin with. <laughs> Get to know yourself, God. Because getting to know yourself is knowing God. Wow, you were on point with that. Hey, Bobby. That's right. It's so true. Yes. Reap the kit from Amazon. Repeat it. Is that what? Don't be talking in code on here. Look, look. I'm retired yet. I don't know the, the code. All of that. You got to spell it. <laughs> but I figured that one out. I'm just messing with you. Amazon. Elden. I'm going to put it on this screen first. One second. Elden. At home. Somebody put that in the comment for me. E-L-D-O-N. Elden at home get. Thank you, Miss Being So. So you get that from Amazon. In that comment. That's how you find out your blood type. Now let me put it over here. On this. I'm live on two pages, y'all. Elden. E-L-D-O-N at home y'all see that over here all right that's how you find out your blood type or you can go to the doctor you pay about five times this amount i'm trying not to say numbers it's five times this here amount when you go to the doctor with the quest diagnostic and you got to bring it to the lab and then they're going to take probably about two of them vials of, of blood from you so they could especially if you're old they probably tell you, you need to take three because you're the universal blood type. They know more about you than you know about yourself because they know that they can do some things. They could, they could purge that, that blood. They could purge that blood. Purify that blood. But I'm teaching you how to purify your own blood for you. All you need is a prick of a ring finger versus all of that blood that you're going to give away for them to, to make medicine out of and to heal other people with it. You need to learn first how to heal your own blood for yourself, God. That's what you need to do. And I'm teaching you how to do it. And that's how you find out what it is with the kit. And then you begin to eat right from your blood type. You eat right from your blood type based upon that meal plan that I took my time to create for you. Telling you what to avoid. What to consume. I list it out. I even put a breakfast. Here's, here's a copy of, of one of them. This is for meal plan B. I'll push it back so y'all can't try to screen print. But this is Sunday. On this page is Sunday through Wednesday. The next page is going to be the Thursday through the Saturday. And here on here I have columns. I'm, te I'm telling you, for breakfast you have this. Put this together. I'm telling you what oil, what nut, what seed, what meat, what vegetable, what drink, what herbal tea for you, for your blood. Doctor's not going to tell you this here because you're going you to stop going to them when you, when, you, when you start doing this here. It's an easy fix. So here we go. Breakfast on the first aisle. I got a fruit and a snack right here. I got lunch on this aisle. Then I got um, herbal teas that you can make at home. Because all teas aren't all herbal teas aren't good for you either. You could you could go down Dr. Sabin list if you want to, but Dr. Sabin list really needs to be brought down to another level of blood type too. Because bladder rack and yellow dock is not good for all blood types. Cayenne pepper, 
is not on his, but this Kayan Pepper thing that's going viral here on TikTok, it's not good for all blood types. Because there's a blood type that's really, really sensitive, and Kayan Pepper would destroy that sensitive gut, and they wouldn't be able to tolerate that thing. So when you hear people talking about this one thing fits all that you one thing that everybody could eat, no, because everything is not for everybody's blood type. It's just not. We're all gods, but we're all vibrating at different frequencies. And we got to find a thing that works for us. So the group of blood types need to stick together as far as what they're consuming. Okay? So the next page is going to be part two of that. Then I have a whole page that lists, page that lists every food. You see all of this here that I put on the meal plan? Well, on the last page, it's listed out. Hey, is this, so you could bring this here list with you at the grocery store. If you don't even want my meal plan, make your own meal plan. But I got the list on here. Then the third page is actually telling you, hey, I told you all the beneficial things. I taught you how to make a meal of it. Then in the back, I gave you a list of it. But hey, this page, do not mess around with these things. These are the things that you need to avoid. These are the things that cost you information. So I don't want you going back into that route again. So I laid it out for you. That's what you get on the, the seven day meal plan. That's what you get. And now you're empowered. Now, if you're a type O blood type, if you have, you're going to be empowered, first of all, by knowing who in the house is A, if you are O. Because if you are O, you like to eat meat. You can digest meat better than other blood types, even though O's get sick too. Even though as an O, you probably have maybe a sluggish digestive system because you're eating too much of wheat. And you're eating too many of the wrong type of meat. So you can find out how you got yourself with the most hydrochloric acid at that state of being. And you can also save the life of maybe that A that's up in your blood type A that's in your family who you cooking all that meat for. You can save their life because they actually cut a little bit worse off than you. Because you could actually tolerate at your best. You could actually tolerate the meat. Oh, but if you cook it for an A, you are really destroying that A. Because that A should be maybe more or less a vegetarian. That A can't tolerate all of the meats because the A don't have much of any hydrochloric acid. A A accumulates so much mucus that an A gotta wake up in the morning and take some kind of key lime or some lemon. A A wakes up in the morning snotting from the nose, hawking up cough. You see what I'm saying? But if you knew this here, you could, you could, you could, you could navigate. And so now you're not at the low frequency of health and wellness. Now you're not going to the doctor. But some people have a relationship, just like I was talking about the relationship with food. Some people have a relationship with their doctor. Oh, I got to go see my doctor. Oh, I'm in a hospital. And they'll wear their little armband so everybody could know that they was in the hospital last week. Or they'll get in the hospital and prop up their feet, trying to figure out what's going to be for dinner at the hospital. Call all their friends. Hey, you know I'm in the hospital. When are you coming to see me? It be sometimes about that relationship of that attention or lack thereof of attention too that you got to destroy and start to operate with a sound mind. You got to destroy that too, that need for attention. Oh, I'm sick. Why don't you go? I will see if so-and-so will go and give me da-da-da-da-da. No, how about so-and-so don't want to see you sick, God? How about you pick up your bed and walk? How about you stop signing up to be a lab rat and eat for your blood type? It's easy, but you making your life hard. Type A, well, type A, you know, you know, is that seven? Big facts. Hey, Big T, you already know. You already know that you have a, a sensitive digestive system. You could you could approve of that, what I just said. O positive. Hey, Bobby, thank you for being here. Bobby, O positive. Bobby have a lot of hydrochloric acid. And um, where's the meal plan and how much? It's available on my website, saltoftheearthpuff.org. I can't talk money to violate the... um tiktok guidelines but it ain't it i ain't here to rip y'all off this is my passion it ain't not it, it's not expensive it's not higher than two of two of these <laughs> if i could say it like that it's not it's it's not
This is my passion. I love to do. I, lo I love to do this. I love being in a position to help people. I'm retired. I just like to come on here just to talk about health and wellness and talk about mindfulness to help my reflections daily. I'm, I'm manifested the life that I want outside of TikTok, outside of meal plans and stuff. I just want to be in a position to help other people because it feels so freaking good. It feels so freaking good to wake up in the morning and get emails about from people. It's like, oh my God, you know how, how much the alchemist oil helped me. I had this big old lump in my throat. And I'm so glad I tried the alchemist oil before I got my tonsil so taken out. Do you know the pain went away, you know, that lump went down? I like stuff like that. Boy, I'm getting up and shouting. Not that I'm a church or religious person, but I be shouting. Yeah, I shout. It keeps me going. And so even in helping people lose weight and helping people eat for their blood type, because I once was in that place or that state of being where I didn't know what to go, what to do. And I was in pain, sickness and disease. I wore glasses. I had irritable bowel syndrome. I had vertigo. I had leaky gut. Leak, well, no, not leaky gut. I had vertigo. See, I done forgot all this crap I had. Vertigo, irritable bowel syndrome. I had bad acne from that cold. My hair was thinning in, in the middle. That's why I ended up shaving my hair initially when I went all low, faded. Um, I had painful periods. I started off really, really young with painful periods. That should have let me know, but I didn't know about health and wellness that I was already toxic at a young age, you know. And um, I said vertical already, you know, inner ear infections and stuff, glasses, things like that, you know, common cold, just, just always in some kind of pain or something. Always back and forth to the doctor or something. And I cried about it. But the most painful of it all was my monthly cycles. Because I used to have monthly cycles where I had to stay home from school. And I would risk failing every year from school. Because I think back in the day, they only gave like 17 days. And every month, though, I was out at least two days because, you know, of my cycle. If it happened to come on a weekday that I had to go to school, i will be home, throwing up, in the corner, in pain, couldn't walk diarrhea you know just crazy cramps because i was so toxic and i didn't know back then i didn't know i was destroying myself based upon the things that i was eating i come up in new orleans everybody was eating the things that i was eating but they wasn't getting sick like i was getting sick but they had different blood types though it wasn't affecting them like it was affecting me and so now i'm in a place where this here is my passion and i just want to help as many people that i i can by coming on here live you know like I said, I'm retired. I could be outside looking at my little hummingbirds. I got a whole bird living on my car right now, actually, that I've been fell in love with. And I could be doing that. But I come on here. I just try to come on here for like two hours, you know, because I have the time to talk to people about health and wellness. Because there are people out there that are suffering. In the midst of all of the crazy stuff TikTok is delivering, I wanted to be, the, I want and am that voice of reason to say, hey, I need you to have a sound mind. Hey, you could be doing, have anything. Hey. Just because you have this disease today don't mean tomorrow can't get better. Here, I'm going to give you the tools right here. I'm going to give it to you instantly, instant download, instantly. And you take this leap of faith and go down this journey here. And But this is the type of thing, this is the type of thing that I'm offering, that, that the doctor ain't going to offer you or, or the people ain't going to offer you. I'm offering you guaranteed results. I'm offering you a chemical reaction that's linked to your blood type and the food that I'm telling you that I know will guarantee results right there. I'm offering you help. And wellness to so have your life back, and you ain't gotta come back. You ain't gotta keep. You ain't gotta never, 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 never come back. And it's okay that you gonna never come back unless you go to the doctor and get them pills. When you go to the doctor, you are gonna have to come back, or you gonna have to go to Walgreens and keep on getting them refilled. You ain't gonna have to ever come back over here, you know? Because I'm giving you everything you need when you come over here. Now, if you don't do the work, shame on you. If you don't go buy the stuff that's gonna heal your body, then shame on you. If you don't sit on the toilet and let the old stuff come out, and you know, because now you're scared, you can stop because you had to go to the bathroom and let the stuff out, and your urine felt a little bit heavy, and you got scared, so you went to Popeye's back again. Oh, what well, shame on you! Because I gave you the code, I gave you the cheat code to get the stuff out your body, so you can have a great quality of life and set yourself free. Because when you're gonna realize in life, you go through all this hell, but it's perfectly orchestrated for you to realize, baby, that you're your savior. You're your own savior. You can look in the sky and you can wait for your sky daddy like many, many people have before. But when you get real with life, when you grow up and stop being a babe in Christ, so to speak, and you put on the whole armor of God, <laughs> then you realize that you are an expression of God. And you got to save yourself. Ain't nobody coming. Ain't nobody coming. 
This is going to be as close as to coming as it's going to get. Somebody that's going to really give you the game. That's going to help you get out of that state of being that you're in. Me. Hey. <laughs> that was, that's it. That's all that's coming. Wow. Where are you from? I'm in Houston. I was, um, I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. I'm in Arizona right now, though. I live in Arizona now. Where can I test my blood type? That's the um, Elden card. The Elden at-home kit available on Amazon. That's how you test it. You prick your finger. You prick your finger. Simple test at home. And then you find out your type. And then you go to the website and get the meal. for you, Plan for your blood type. Get yours and get the one for your family too. Because you can't leave them out. Because they got some baby right now that's going to be sitting around dinner. That parents going to be telling them they can't go no darn where until they eat all that food off of their plate. And that baby could likely be an A who's a vegetarian. And on the plate could be a bunch of meat. <laughs> Think about that for your loved ones and that you're cooking for. So just keep that in mind. Oh, I'm purchasing. I'm so happy for you, baby. I purchased the Chico's. Oh, you got yours, Mary? Good for you. Yeah, hormones. Heck yeah. Because, see, the hormones is, is basically coming from the things that's estrogen mimickers in the food. Like, for example, the milk. Like, for example, the, the, the dairy. They got so many mimickers in um the food. And uh, those yellow and blue dyes that they put inside the potato chips and other um, snacks that they put together, man-made stuff. They have estrogen mimickers in that. That increases mucus in your body. And so this is why we have little boys with, 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 with boots flapping around in a white t-shirt, same size as mine. But they're little boys because they're not eating for their blood type because their hormones are out of balance. This is why 15-year-old girls look like they're about 21. Curvaceous. Milky. <laughs> like, right? Because they ain't eating for their blood type. And they got so many hormones in the food. Chicken is the main one, actually. You don't even got to worry about the man-made ones that's in the potato chips and in the snacks and stuff like that. They can eat. Or even you ain't got to really worry about the milk as much because a lot of people done got lactose and intolerant and they ain't really fooling with the milk as much that's not for their blood type but you go to the chicken they stick in the chicken with these here hormones chicken is one that i don't believe no blood type pork and chicken i don't believe no blood type should fool with that but people still doing it and you black you came up on fried chicken you know fried chicken you know how to bake the chicken you know how to saute the chicken, you, you dip chicken, I don't know, you do the stanky leg with the chicken, I don't know, you do everything with the chicken, <laughs> but we got to get away from that chicken. That, we appreciate you for that knowledge. Hey, yeah, Dwayne, you're welcome, yes, I better do, and we are blessed that you are taking time, yeah, I'll be right back, okay, okay, Miss Being So, wow, we need to eat for our blood type, yeah, really, yeah, really, I'm happy I found you, was listening to another lady, but she cussed too much. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Bless her heart. I was that. Yeah, you was just like that. Yes, that's true. You are so right. Our people are suffering with chemo and pills. Yes, they are. They are. But they're so used to. Gotta go see what the doctor had said. You know, they, they, they'll, I'll talk to those type of people and they'll look at me. Yeah, you sure is right. You right. But it's almost like they have ears, but they ain't even hearing. I blank three times if the doctor doing something to me that I need to come down there and figure out. You know? Yeah, it'd be like that. Oh, you back? Okay, good. Back. What is the test to find out the blood type? Eldon at home test. Will it help with home? Oh, I went too far up. I'm from Louisiana, but I stay in Texas. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm doing it a month now. Uh, it's zero lost 20 pounds I'm doing it a month now it's zero lost 20 pounds I don't understand the it's zero it's oh maybe you're oh I don't know but you lost 20 pounds that's beautiful that's beautiful I'm happy for you I'm so happy for you what about oh what about them they still need to know how to eat for the blood type even though they have a lot of hydrochloric acid certain meats are messing up the oils bread is messing up the oils um, certain vegetables messing up the oils and that's like all across the board for every blood type like for me I'm a B the thing that used to mess me up that I didn't even know anything about was tomatoes tomatoes blood type B you gotta stay away from tomatoes 
And so I loved tomatoes because I could eat potatoes based upon my blood type. So I would put a bunch of ketchup. You know, I could tolerate the vinegar in the ketchup. But my digestive system doesn't tolerate the tomatoes, the little nightshades. So they was causing inflammation for me. The tomatoes inside of my okra gum, my vegan okra gumbo at that, I'm talking about, was messing me up. The tomato sauce that I will put inside of my vegan spaghetti. Stuff like that. You need to know about that. So when you know about that thing, now you could tweak the recipe and find a substitute, something that's going to thicken, like, for example, the okra, it, it, it allowed, the okra gumbo, the tomato um, paste allowed me to have flavor from the tomato, and it also allowed me to bulk up the juice in the gumbo, but now, okay, I know I gotta stay, I gotta stay away from the tomato, so now I could use my iris sea moss to bulk up my water, because iris sea moss is a thickener, and it allows me to get other minerals Okay, so since I took the tomato paste out, this is just me manipulating energy with my food. I got my sea moss to thick in my water now. Now, I could put other type of uh, seasons in there to make it seem like that tomato paste ain't even missing. I could put the um, Wichita, I can never say that word, rich Wichita sauce. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I can't pronounce it. I, my, my tongue don't do that. I could put that sauce up in there for added tomato, for added flavor for where I took the tomato out. You know, you got to learn these things because me learning that about myself stopped the inflammation inside of my body. Now, mind you, this book helps me with little tweaks at the tail end of my journey. I had already been doing this here thing. So when you flatline become a vegan, in the beginning, I was just eating everything that I wanted. Everything that I wanted that was healthy, you know, fruit and vegetable, everything that I could tolerate. I didn't care if it was nasty. I just ate it. See, you get, there's levels of being a vegan. You get to a level where it's like, wait, hold up. This is nasty. I got to find something else. And I don't feel good when I eat this. Even though this is a vegetable, uh, I don't know. This must be a GMO or something because it makes me hurt right here. And then you find out, you listen to other people like, yeah. I hear that, but oh, I don't feel good when I do that. And then you get to another level where you like, look, I don't want to hear nothing from none of y'all. I'm going to eat according to how I feel. And that's what I was on. I didn't want to hear nothing about what Dr. Bethesda had said, even though I had heard people say about him and I looked at him. I was like, oh, yeah, I understand what he's saying. I get it. But I didn't want to abide by that so-called Bible of his where he listed things because some of the things that was on there didn't agree with me still. And I was like, so it made me feel like, dang, ain't something wrong with me. So I asked myself, I got in alignment with myself and I asked my inner being, show me what's good for me. And so then I started doing the things that felt good to me. And then I stumbled upon eating for my blood type. And I'm like, oh my God, on my journey, I had been eating for my blood type. I got all the way to this year point and the only thing that I wasn't doing based upon my blood type is the tomatoes. And, and it says up in here about the coconut oils. They talk, and I always have coconut oil because without coconut oil, I'll probably look cracky right here, right now, because coconut oil is those ha healthy fats that I would consume that was keeping me, you know, looking full instead of, you know, skinny because I don't want food around with meat and the oils like other people. But it said, you know, avoid the coconut oil for my blood type. But it was okay that I was consuming the coconut oil for my blood type because I wasn't eating other meats. I didn't have any other fat. So my coconut oil, when I was consuming it, it wasn't causing excess mucus in me. It was actually keeping me looking healthy because I was looking really, really fragile because I don't eat like other people do. I have a bird type appetite. I eat every two to three days now because I mostly drink and eat, eat coconut water. Coconut water is good for all blood types, but the coconut oil, if you eat a heavy fat diet already, or if you are A already, then it might be extra mucus on you. So just me knowing these different things, man, I'm in total freaking alignment. Something that I longed for when I was younger, when I was experiencing so much of this ease and this hormone. And I want you two to get in that alignment. I done paved the way on my website. I paved the way with a whole transformation course. 10 years of research, 
18 videos, the Power Within Transformation course with guaranteed results on there where I'm taking you to the grocery store, where I'm teaching you how to shop for harmful ingredients and how to avoid them, how to detox your organs, how to read labels and things, how to manifest, how to meditate. It's how-to videos that will help you both physically and spiritually. Then I laid out the law, okay? If you don't want to go to the grocery store with me in the, in the Power Within Transformation course, here, I'm going to give you a meal plan, Sunday through Saturday. Here, I'm going to show you the beneficial foods. Here, I'm going to tell you what not to eat. You you too sick? You can't go to the grocery store and you don't want the meal plan? Here, I got the at-home herbal potion for your blood type. Swallow the potion a couple of days in a row, get your energy back, so you can go to the grocery store and buy the thing to save your life. I'm doing all of the work for you. And you looking at me. <laughs> And you ain't even tapping the, the screen. 15,000 likes over here. 5,000 likes over here. I go to TikTok lives when people grabbing walls and they got more likes than me in here. I'm saving lives. Could you tap the screen? Could you, could you give to me? I'm giving to you. Could you give back? Is that too much? Could you tap the screen? Could, could I get 20 likes over here so I can help somebody else if you just go look at me? Could I, could I get 5,000? I mean, cause 6,000 likes over here. C could, could I? Can I? Maybe? Like, and that's another thing we got to be conscious of. When we sick, some people, when, when they sick, they just mean and just hateful. What the hell is she talking about? That shit ain't going to work. Just, just mean. Just, just, that's how you guys sick, though. Just don't go here. Yeah. Got that phone in your hand. Can't, won't even hit one like. Just won't because you're mean, you're chaotic, you're low frequency, you on death mode. But in order to get some life, baby, you got to give. This is why in the biblical text, it said that woman that did gave the least that from her from her lack, she gave the most because she ain't have nothing. But what she did, she transformed her energy by giving in her lack. Giving because somebody was sowing into her. She wanted to give something back. You gotta learn how to give now. There's a figure eight that's circling your butt. Giving and receiving. And you'll find in life that it's more blessed to give than it is to receive, baby. Grow up. Stop being mean and hateful because love heals all. The stuff that I'm trying to teach you how to do, eat right for your blood type, the way that you go heal is love. It takes love for you to get your butt up out of that bed and go to that store and let me find this new stuff that I ain't never ate before because I love myself. It takes love to sit here and listen to somebody that you have never met in a physical reality because you might have something that's going to teach me how to love myself. It takes love for self to do these things and love for self is going to be the thing that's going to heal you. <laughs> it's love for self don't forget that part don't forget yeah I received the one page cheat code is there an additional charge for the seven day meal plan it's two different things yeah the um, the cheat code is one page it, told, it teaches you all those things on that page that you eat and will destroy that fat will balance that gut will snatch you back you start eating those things, incorporate a meal where you are plentiful in those things that's on your list for your blood type and those strengths, strength, those strengths. Like even whether you get in a meal plan or the, um, or the cheat code for the weight loss, you make sure that those strengths is so important. You make sure that those strengths that's on that meal plan, that's, that's the drinks in your refrigerator. Don't have no Hawaiian punch up in there. Don't, 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 Hawaiian punch ain't on the list. Don't have no drinks up in here with filtered water and high fructose corn syrup because high fructose corn syrup is on your list of things to avoid. Read your ingredients. But them drinks that's on your list, on the meal plan list I'm talking about, the ones that I put on this here page of the seven day meal plan, up here by your breakfast, the drink that I included in your breakfast, them herbal teas that I included down here up in your teas, your teas that you make by just boiling water and putting this particular herb inside of that. When you stay true to those drinks, those drinks are powerful now. Don't sleep on them drinks. Those drinks, those drinks are powerful because they help with your digestive enzymes. Don't sleep on your drinks. Don't, don't, some of y'all blood types, you got to leave. For blood type B, you should have cold drinks up in your refrigerator anyway. Blood type B, get rid of the cold drinks. And these here drinks, these are your new drinks. <laughs> 
you fall in love with this here new, it's a new relationship. Going on is the old relationship. He, that didn't serve you well. That was pulling from you. It was taking from you. It was destroying you. It was causing you stress. It was causing you inflammation. It was causing you to go to the doctor. Go on is that relationship. Let that relationship think that it was all that. Let it think that. But you fall in love with this new relationship, with this new food that's going to give you life. And you'll realize that this here is the real love. You'll realize you was really missing out on love. You think that ice cream was your love? No, this is the real love. The kind of love that now I have mental clarity? Wait, what? Now I lost weight because I fell in love over here? Hmm. Now I can sleep at night? Hmm. Now I don't stink? Hmm. My hair growing back? Oh, I'm really in love. Get caught up into this here, love. This newness of love here for self. This love for self that I'm teaching you. If you don't get nothing out of it. Get love for self is what you need to do. I don't want to hear nothing about your chitlins. I don't want to hear nothing about, you know, oh, ain't nothing wrong. What happened with the poke? Ain't the poke ain't never did nothing to you. I don't want to hear that. I really don't. Because people are dying in the physical reality for the lack of wanting to love self and take care of their self. It's time to get selfish. Because how you feel matters. Stop giving this here burden to your children. Your loved ones that got to take you to the doctor. They got to watch you deteriorate in front of their eyes. Have enough love for self that you pick up the paper, read the paper and tell somebody, go get me this here. At least give me the drinks. Let me see what the drinks go do. At least let me, let me take this here drink from my blood type right here for a week. Let me see if I feel anything from that. Do that for you. You ain't doing it for me. Do that for you. I ain't no salesperson. Do that for you. What I get out of it is the fact that when you move energetically, since we are collective consciousness, it causes others to expand. It just gets greater and greater and greater because you're giving your experience to source. And source is like a big ego. It gets greater and greater and greater. Going back to when you move, I move. That's what I get out of here. I get that out. And that part feels good. That part is the serotonin level for me. That part is the legacy that I want to leave behind. Because it just feels so damn good to be in a position to help other people. That's really what I get out of it. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, Big T. I appreciate those roses. I love me some roses. Yeah. What about fish? There's a plethora of fish up in here that a lot of people could, could eat on any blood type. If that's what you choose, like you can eat fish if that's what you choose. Now, here's the thing. You got to understand that they have in its raw form parasites in fish. Yeah, they do. Let's talk about that for a minute. They got parasites in fish. But here's the thing. You got to, first of all, clean whatever meat, whatever blood type you are. If you have meat on your chart, A's. You don't really have that many meats on your joy that you can fool with. But whatever meat you choose, you want to get it in its most organic. If you're a meat eater, get it in its organic form. And you want to clean that meat. You can clean your meat with the product that I have called the Alchemist Oil, which will kill parasites. You could also put a concoction together of uh, key lime and some um, coconut vinegar. Coconut vinegar, key lime, three drops of Alchemist Oil inside of the water that you're cleaning your meat with to kill the parasites you want to clean your even organic meat right off here's the thing you want to cook it you don't want to no longer eat no bloody steaks no more because the bloody steak or the bloody whatever lets you know it ain't cooked all the way through so it's likely that you're going to have a live parasite inside of you but besides the parasites being whether you clean them or not, if you're eating for your blood type, they're not going to be able to survive inside of your digestive system, inside of your gut. They're still going to be expelled because all of the herbs, all of the oils, because of all of the drinks that you are consuming while on this meal plan is going to be killing them. <laughs> so so you, could, you could say, oh, I don't want to eat meat because... You know, they might, I don't eat fish because they might have parasites. Well, not if you cooked it, not if you cleaned it, and not if you have um, 
If beneficial bacteria in your gut, that's their job. The good is supposed to be destroying the bad, and it's supposed to be balanced up in here. Not if you have digestive enzymes, not if you have your proper hydrochloric acid, so the integrity of your gut is <laughs> not compromised. So therefore, when you digest something, your body know to do what to do with them parasites. And guess what? Parasites is in. I'm saying this only because parasites gonna be in your vegetables and fruit too, baby. The soil outside is manure. Let's not forget that. So anything we're growing from manure, parasites and worms and stuff going to be in that part too. You got to understand that part. So what, you're not going to eat anything else? And I'm not getting on you. I'm just letting people know this part because I think this is really important. What, you're not going to eat anything no more? Unless you get to this here place where I am and understand that food is overrated. <laughs> then you might not care about not eating those things because I could care less if I don't eat meat in every bite. I could care less if I only eat meat maybe three to four times a year because I haven't been on fast before and I already disciplined myself already and my stomach has already shrunk back and I already eat like a bird and I could care less. I could actually spend a day just drinking coconut water or eating a, a watermelon and I'll be good for the whole day. I could go 90 days, I, the longest I've been was 90 days without eating, just drinking. Unless you get to that place, which a lot of people, you ain't got to go there. I did that for the mindfulness side. You ain't got to go that far to that extreme. I did that just mastering, mastering my body. But you ain't got to do that there. Eat your seafood, the ones that are beneficial for your blood if you want the seafood, though. Just don't go wilding out on the ones that are not. Eat your meat, the ones that is beneficial and organic for your blood, though. Because it's beneficial, if it's beneficial in, in, for your blood and you clean that thing, you're going to be able to digest that and eliminate it. Because guess what? Eating for your blood type helps you eliminate and absorb minerals from the food. Because now your digestive system is working now. Because you're eating for your blood type. Don't, 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 don't go too far with, with this here, um, vegan stuff, y'all. Don't, don't go too far. And, I, and I'm, I'm, I'm on a straight and narrow. If anybody could talk, I can. Because it also ties back to all this mind. Because if I'm going to teach you about mindfulness, I got to teach you, I got to teach you this here, that your mindfulness should be up to par enough that you could bless your food. If you God. Either you God or you not. Why you not blessing your food mentally that your food now got to step up to your level. And it has to be clean. Don't forget that part. Because if you're operating with, oh, I'm, oh no, I can't eat that because da, da 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 That's kind of like a fear on low level. Let's let's transform the energy of that fear, fear of what you can't eat to, yeah, I have beneficial foods right here that I can eat. And because I can, because they coincide with my blood, I'm going to, I'm going to indulge in that and I'm going to enjoy it. And it's going to be nourishment to me, you know, but if you deviate, it ain't the end of the world. You just know that you're causing inflammation. That's it. It's about a healthy balance. Don't forget that part. This balance is so important. Oh my God. These comments are good. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to read all of them. If I miss y'all. Comment, y'all gonna have to do it again if you had a question. Thank you for popping up on my for you. You are so welcome. Oh my goodness, they got two things. I got out of the hospital with low iron. Yeah, yeah, low iron. That that was me. I was anemia, anemic too. So low iron. I did um, sarsaparilla, but you gotta find out if that's for your blood type. I don't know your blood type. I'm just saying that. I did sarsaparilla tea for that. It was the highest form of iron, and it helped me with my um my um me being anemic let me look at these over here the detox tea cleansing herb be the tea and silica powder yeah what about it what's the question that's available on my website i always took um okay i read that one already what caused ankle swelling oof oof oof, oof. comments i lost the comments y'all on this page i was trying um what caused ankle swelling that's the lymphatic system the lymphatic system clog up yeah so key lines to help. We're in a zone. <laughs> you were in a zone. Oh, okay. I'm out the zone now. 
But the lymphatic system, I'm sorry, maybe it was a lag on that particular um, phone. It's an older phone. But the lymphatic system is, um, is what causes that. It's not draining. The adrenal glands, you know, the kidneys are not filtering. So it's backed up. There's so many acids. That's basically based upon what you're putting in the body. So it's inflammation. Inflammation is, is acids go hand in hand. They're letting you know that the two are intertwined because they're both on the aesthetic range. If you have inflammation, you have fire, fire, acid. So you need to start eating for your blood type. This is every, you don't, it don't matter what y'all typing. If I missed your comment, the answer going to be, oh, okay, you're going to eat for your blood type. Because that's the only thing that's going to get rid of that inflammation. That's the only thing that's going to stop the chemical reaction. If you wasn't here earlier when I say there's a chemical action that happens between the blood, your blood type, and the food that you are eating. You put it in there, the reaction happens. Either it's going to be inflammation. This reaction is called lectins. Look it up if you want to know more about it. It's going to be inflammation. Like, oh, I'm on fire. And so with the inflammation comes, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I don't know what that was, but I got to go to sleep. And with that tiredness comes fatigue and depression. Like, man, I feel so drained. I don't know. You know, now you're depressed. Now you want to sit in that bed. You don't want to go nowhere. You don't lag. Because that's the negative lessons that came from what you ate. But when you eat for your blood type, oh, man, that felt good. You know, man, let's go sit outside. Let's go to the park. I feel positive. Serotonin increasing. You know, inflammation is subsiding in my body. When I urine, it's a little... It's a little thicker in, when I first start eating from my blood type. It's a little thicker. I wonder what that is. Oh, that's your acids in your body. Your inflammation is coming out from your adrenal glands and going to your kidneys. And it's being expelled via your urine. Oh, and my bowel movement. I had such a bulky bowel movement, but it sure felt good. Lord, whatever that was. It made me feel like I lost about 10 to 15 pounds. I wonder what that was. Oh, because you're eating for your blood type. is coming out. The old fecal matter. Yeah, digestive enzymes are being activated. Yeah, good bacteria is, is outweighing the bad. Yeah. Oh, my yeast infections, they're growing out. I feel kind of like this little this little moisture in my JJ. I wonder what that is. Oh, that's that yeast and that fungus that's been sitting up in the air because I was out of balance. And since my gut is getting balanced and my gut is digesting my food now, everything's getting imbalanced. Oh, no, I can see clearly. No, I don't have the reoccurring yeast infections. No, that white stuff that was on my tongue, the food that I was eating, my fruits, yeah, it healed that. And so my tongue is a mirror to my stomach. And so now I don't have that yeast in my stomach, so I don't have the yeast or the thrush or thrush on my tongue anymore. Now my breath isn't stinking anymore. Now my bowel isn't funky. Now I don't have to wear deodorant. I only wear it every two or three days, maybe, because... I don't really need it. And what I wear, maybe it's just like some key lime, key lime powder or maybe some, I'll put some key, raw key lime juice from the lime itself underneath there just because, but I don't really need to because now I eat for my diet and now I don't have to go to the doctor. What am I going to do with all this free time? What am I going to do with this extra money that I wasn't giving to the doctors? What I'm going to do with my, myself now since I'm no longer nobody lab rat. <laughs> I'm a little extra, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll be going. I'll be going down the pool. That's it. I'm an old tomatoes mess everyone up pretty much. Yeah, but some of them, some of them, some people could eat them during tomatoes. So can you share the name? Eat right for your blood type? I've been saying that. Yeah, eat right for your blood type. Yep. Yep. I share it all the time. Do here. Hey, me here. Miss Parker. Miss Parker speaks. Where can I find your meal plan? On my website. Link in my bio. Sortoftheearthpub.org is my website. Let me see if I can put it in there. Sort of the Earth Pub. Let me look at each here. I'm sorry. Let's see. What's your thoughts? Let me see. What is, what is that one? Is that the... um? Is that one of the mushrooms? Let me see. Uh, oh. Oh, it's found in the rocks of the Himalayas. No, I haven't heard that one, so I don't have any sauce on that one. I never used it myself personally. I always go straight to the source of food. It says it's um so exactly. Huh. 
It's a powder from High Mountain Rocks. It, it sounds natural. It sounds positive. I will give it a shot. You tell me. You tell me how it works out for you. It sounds positive though. I've never, I've never digested myself, so I put it. I don't really talk about things that I've never really experienced physically or maybe heard other people go through. So I hear from you. You tell me. <laughs> Thanks for sharing, though. But no, I, I stick with my fruits and my vegetables. I don't do nothing, nothing outside of natural that came from the earth. I mean, I know that came from a rock, but came from the earth as far as, you know, vegetable itself. The only thing closest to a rock maybe that I fool with is maybe the um, sea vegetables, you know, Irish sea moss like that, and the nori and kelp vegetables like that. I fool with them, but um, and every now and then, just really mostly for the color though, because my children like colored things. Children, children, they grown adults, but they seem they like the color of it. Sometimes I'll put the liquid chlorophyll inside of my key lime aid and stuff like that to make it green. Because only because maybe it's me that's addicted to the color of that. And that's the only thing outside of my fruits and vegetables. Because, um, you know, when it came up, I used to always tell them that that activates these superpowers, you know, if they eat colorful stuff because they black and, you know, they got to eat colorful things on their plate. And so I just like color. <laughs> maybe that's me. <laughs> but no, I don't fool with that, dude. Hello. My sister, first time, just ordered the meal plan. You speak it facts, peace. Okay, hey. Oh, that's Nurse, Nurse, Nurse Betty. That's a beautiful name. The nurse lady over here ordering stuff. You're not extra, you're perfect. <laughs> just right. <laughs> yeah, I did say that, but I meant, you know, with the examples, because I'll go into examples, like, talking like I'm your lymphatic system and stuff. That's what I meant. Like, yeah, if I was your lymphatic system, I'd be like, stop, give me some key labs up in here. But that's just how I do because it's my passion. But thanks for pointing my, my perfections out. I appreciate you keeping me in alignment. Yeah. Hello, love. Hey, big spoon. Yeah. So y'all got the website. I'm back. Oh, thanks for coming back, Baron. I hope so. Y'all talking to each other over here. Okay. Can all have oatmeal? Oatmeal? What do you say? Is that one of the ones? Somebody can have oatmeal. I know bees can't have grits. Bees can't have grits. We can have oatmeal. I know that. Bees and um, oats are kind of like opposites. But I didn't look at the, the grits for oatmeal. Wait, could I? I got the meal plan right here in front of my face. And I, let me see. I don't remember that one on the top. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I got that on, on Thursday for them. Yeah, it's on the meal plan. I just didn't remember it from the top of my head, but yeah. <sighs> I'm missing out because I'm on the train. Oh, well, forever young. You can catch my replay. I'll post it to my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio to my YouTube. There's a black triangle in my um, profile picture and it'll bring you right to my YouTube. Click on subscribe. And that way when I do upload this here video, you'll be able to watch it then. I'm old and I rarely eat for your blood type and pork was fine. Pork? No, your B, I mean B. Where? Pork? They said, who told you that? No, it's not fine. B? Mm -mm. He ain't fine. He ain't fine. Pork is one of the ones that all of them need to stay away from. I don't know what, 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 no, it says avoid pork, bacon, and chicken for the bees. I'm a bee. I know that. I remember that because I know mine, but I looked at the book again just, to, just so that you could see me look. But I know, I know what pork, outside of the book, I know what pork do to me. <laughs> I know what bacon do to me. I know now that I've cleaned that, that, that was the first thing that I left alone. That actually stinks. Of all the, the meats, it's funky, funky, funky. It makes me gag when people making bacon or whatever. When I used to work in corporate America, when they would warm up their they food, and I, I would know, oh my God, I wish they didn't have pork last night for dinner, and they had to bring that home, I mean, to work for leftovers, and I had to sit here and smell that stuff, because it would be funky to me. Pork is a nasty. They use pigs, y'all, in, in, in the field, to clean the fields when they're doing the little golf fields, you know, to go in and clean up 
the rats, the, the snakes eat the trash. They're hogs, y'all. They hold on to toxins. No, or, There's no such thing as an organic pig, y'all. I promise you. Because it ain't organic. It was genetically modified. And so especially for like a, a O, you need to be eating organic things that ain't been manipulated in, in like dogs in, 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 in the chicken and pork. That ain't real, y'all. So just think about that. I mean, go ahead on and do it. If you feel good and you don't get information and you you a strong bee that don't feel it, do it, baby. Do what makes you feel good. But um, that's not eating right for your blood type as far as everybody else is concerned. Bullheads didn't take the people out, bro. I'm just saying. And so energetically, here, here we go with mindfulness. Now, you could call yourself blessing. You could call yourself blessing that. But here's the thing with energy, though. I just told you that. Other people around you are experiencing dis-ease and disharmony because of that same thing, even in your neighborhood. Their thoughts, the thoughts of others, we're so connected that the thoughts of others weigh and have an effect on us. So if, if other people around you are experiencing that, that, that dis-ease from pork and complaining about pork, and talking about pork, and you go against that grain energetically, and you didn't have that thought yourself probably about pork, you go against that grain, you could do all the blessing, but your mindfulness probably don't be up to par to bless that pork and make that pork give you life. Because, but all is mine. But being that you have the other thoughts of other people around you, they'll probably, those thoughts will win. Because all day long, all that's happening in our physical reality is two thoughts are competing. Am I going to be sick? Am I going to be healthy today? And the one that you have more energy for is winning. That's with everything in life. Am I going to be rich? Am I going to be broke? Every thought has two sides. Now, if you go against that thought and still do it with doubt, the pork gonna mess you up, baby. And that's why when you bless your food, it ain't really gonna be blessed. Because you gotta conjure up energy first. You gotta build up momentum and confidence in yourself as a healer first. You gotta go and do this meal plan and bring life back into your body first. And realize that you're the savior that saved yourself. And realize that love for self is the true healer. Then when you be lifted up, then you're able to draw other things to you that's going to be a blessing to you now then you can come back and eat on the pork if you choose to but then you ain't gonna probably want it that's how this thing work you have to edify your church first and then you understand oh nothing shall by any means harm me because i now have the full armor of god on me I had to get my sound mind first. I had to get in balance first. I had to do the work and put in the work first. I had to eat right. That was the work. I had to trust that the food that I was eating was in line with my with my blood type. That was the work. So you got to put in the work first. That's what's happening in the church. The church is saying, oh, I'm just blessed and highly favored. And they ain't put in the work. They didn't conjure up another energy. And that's why they stay sick. Because really and truly, you could eat whatever you want to eat if you practice mindfulness. Look at Buddhist monks. See, this is where the separation comes at. You got the Buddhist monks and stuff that eat white rice. White rice, if you think about it, just break that thing down. White rice, they ain't got no color, they ain't got no life in it. And some of it is plastic. It's not beneficial for the digestive system. But wait, hold up. The Buddhist monk could eat it? How is that so? Because the Buddhist monks that did the work and the Buddhist monk know thyself teaching you how to get to know yourself you gotta go on a journey first of getting to know yourself first before you can sit up here and talk about yeah i'm gonna just eat some white plastic you be in the hospital because you don't know yourself this is a journey of getting to know yourself along the way so you can't just toss in and dismiss and say oh no the hell with that i'm gonna just eat the pork no because you gotta go on the journey you're the prodigal son you, you signed up for this. You, the prodigal son, you wanted to go all the way away from the, the God or the love of God to see for yourself. So now you got to do the work. And that's doing the work. That, that doing the work part is, is you work until you get here. 
You got to get here. And then when you get back here, you be like, oh, man, I could have what I wanted to. Had I had this mind when I was out there. You see what I'm saying? So right now in my journey, because I sat with myself, I know myself, I did this work. You know, I know, how, you know how to manipulate energy. I know mindfulness. I know what foods for me and foods are against me. I could actually go out there and eat what I want and it ain't going to hurt me. <laughs> I could eat it now because I'm now up there. I had to go through this hell first though. This is like your insurance along the way that's reminding you that you God. Pick up, get, get, read your policy, read all your insurance policies. Go through it all. It's about the journey. The journey of unfoldment. Hope that helps. That's it. Gratitude for you and the info you shared today. You're welcome, babe. I'll be checking the website after finding out my blood type. Okay, 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 perfect. That's so beautiful. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Let me look at these comments over here. Hey, God, it's 866. Yeah, 866. I'm missing out because I'm on train. Oh, I read that one already. Let me get back down here. See if I can catch up. Hello, hello. How are you doing today, too, babe? Thank you for joining. Thank you for the um, follows. What's good to eat for all? We went over those already. Um, you're going to have to um, purchase the meal plan or come back when I'm talking about each one specifically. But um, what to avoid is what I share here on the live. In order to know what you eat, you order the seven-day meal plan. And when you order it, make sure you click on blood type O. It's available on my website, sortofyourpub.org. And you'll have it downloaded instantly. You'll have it in your hand. Yeah, you put full fuel in the lime water. Yeah, just because I just have some more up in the um in the refrigerator. Yeah, I put some in my key lime water to make it green. Yeah, I put water, key lime, you know, freshly squeezed key lime, and I sweeten it with um agave. Yeah, it's spring water that I use too. I don't use reverse osmosis or just do water in my drinking. How you doing? I am perfect, Dari. To be fit? Yeah, I see. How can I get a meal plan? My bio, link in my bio, or go to solveyourpub.org, whichever is faster for you. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, no pork. Leave that pork alone. I'm off now. Oh, okay, you're back. You're all perfect. Leave that pork alone. Leave that pork alone, y'all. That pork, that pork and, and really chicken. Find other foods. There are other foods out there. There's other foods. I'm black. Y'all see? Y'all see me? I'm black in this physical reality. That's what I came. I, that's the this the kind of avatar I had picked. And it's a little black lady. So I know what chicken tastes like. Yeah, I do. I know some good chicken. Yeah, I know a lot of people in my family know how to cook chicken. Yeah, because I'm black. And pork? Oh, yeah. I can cook chicken. I can cook pork too. But guess what? A lot of people in my family, they from New Orleans, and a lot of them have diabetes. Mm -hmm. Some of them have kidney issues. Yay. High blood pressure too. Yay. The gout. Mm -hmm. Autoimmune disease. Lupus. You ever heard that one? Yeah, they got that. Leave the pork and the chicken alone, y'all. Fall in love with other fish. Fall in love with some other seafood. So fall in love with some other meat. They got other stuff outside of pork and chicken. I promise you. Even if you're black and you won't turn white. Guess what? Here's what I found out. You don't turn white when you stop eating chicken and pork. No, you ain't going to turn white. Because I'm still, look at me, I'm still brown. I'm still brown. My, my black didn't go away. I promise you. Because it got to be something with a cultural um, thing there. It got to be a cultural thing that had black people thinking that they're, they got to have meat in every bite. And they got to be pork in it or it got to be chicken. The very thing that once upon a time was thrown to them as scraps. What if the people that threw the scraps to them, that forced them to eat those things, knew that this here wasn't eaten according to their blood type. I wonder if that was going on. And now the same thing that was being thrown to these type of people based upon their culture and everything is the same thing that's killing them. And now you, now people like me when I tell them, oh, don't do that because you not eating for your blood type. Now they don't believe me. And I look like them. God, be darn. Is that what I know to be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beef. Yeah. Beef. 
Beef is neutral, yeah, for a beef. I, I just, uh, beef is neutral. It don't cause the, the inflammation like the ones that you should avoid. But I don't, I don't fool with beef because of the neutralness of it. I mean, not, not because of the neutralness of it, but because of the fact that even though it's neutral, I can't clean it. I'm kind of like a, I want to be a cleaner. And beef, you can't clean. Like, you can cook it. You got to make sure you cook it all the way. And I guess that's how you're killing the bacteria. But I'd want to soak my stuff first. Like, God darn it, you need some alchemist oil on you. And you need some vinegar and you need some key lime. And you can't do that with the beef because you, you know, because of the texture of it. Like, right? So I don't really. But yeah, beef is neutral for beef. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really like messing around with nothing I can't clean. Happy you came on my uh, feed. I'm happy you're here too, babe. Welcome, all the new people. Thank you, thank you. I do, uh, I just, uh, oh, okay, yeah. What you should not is in the, um, it's in the meal plan too. Let me see. Meal plan, okay. I'm caught up on this one here. Okay. Okay. Mm. <sighs> okay. All right, I'm caught up over here. Wait, wait, what is this? Pumpkin seeds expel parasites. Yep, they sure do. You're right about that. You are so right about that. Yeah. I need the meal plan and the drinks. Yeah, it's in the bio. It's in the bio. The link is in the bio. Solve the earth pub. That ORD. I'll show it to you too. Let's see. Okay, thank you, Miss BSO. <laughs> she done ran out of the battery. That's funny. But yeah, what can I eat? It's in the meal plan. It's in the meal plan. You are so right. My husband thinks he has to have meat in every meal. Yeah, we come up on that way. We come up on that way. And if you like to eat meat, your meat for your blood type is cool to have in every bite. Because it's not going to cause you inflammation. Pick the meat that's good for your blood type and while out. If that's if you like a hefty meat eater, for example, you know, like um <laughs> Like a blood type B, you know, there's a plethora of highly beneficial meats for the blood type B to consume. And I could do that in my, you know, as far as my blood type is concerned, you know, I just, I'm just not a heavy meat eater like that, right? And I'd rather, there's like neutral meats, there's neutral meats and, and then for me, like I was just telling you, I don't really like beef because you can't clean the beef, but beef and turkey are both neutral for me as a, as a bee and so turkey is actually highly beneficial for another blood type of person that's in my family so being that turkey is neutral to me and highly beneficial for them i just cook turkey more than anything because maybe if i want to taste it i can and because I know more people in my family can eat the turkey and cause no inflammation versus me giving them like pork or me giving them like chicken. So just find out the thing that, that food that's not going to inflame everybody that's in your family and go and choose that. Like, like, you know, like some of us be in our box so much that we don't realize that you know how you could do turkey, I mean chicken wings, you know how you make your little wings, I guess you put your little sauces on your wings in the oven. Well, they have turkey wings to that. And you can still do your little sauces on your turkey wings. All you're doing is shifting, you know, from the type of animal you choose it, but because it's in alignment better with your blood, your life force, your DNA, then it's not going to bring havoc and harm to you versus something that was genetically modified. <laughs> something that has a bunch of toxins that can't be released no matter how you clean it like the pork. So just think on those levels when it comes to preparing your food for your loved ones. Yeah, just think about that. All right, let's see. Um... Can you clean ground ham the way you describe? That's what I'm saying. The ground meat? No. It's like, you can't really clean it. I don't cook it no more. I don't cook no kind of ground beef, ground, ground lamb, ground nothing, ground turkey. I don't. 
Even even though I don't eat that, I don't even cook it for the people who probably don't even care in my house about all of this here. Because <laughs> everybody ain't in the same place as me where I am in my journey, right? And so, um, the only thing I could think of cleaning it with if I was to cook it or prepare it for somebody would be to put some drops of um, the alchemist oil on it. Because I, I don't see how you're going to be able to clean the... the um, the vinegar, the coconut vinegar off of it with water. You can't even put water in beef like that. So I put a couple of drops of alchemist oil and leave it up there or maybe squeeze some of the key lime to add extra flavor to the beef too. Squeeze some of the key lime juice from a freshly uh, seeded key lime on the beef and season it up, making sure that I use herbs that are really beneficial for my blood type to detox to get that beef up out of there because if the beef is not beneficial based upon my blood type and it came from all kind of sick animals in my um, immune system or my gut is not in a balance then it's gonna add to it ain't it ain't gonna help me it's gonna add to more unfriendly bacteria in my gut it's gonna add to that so that ulcer that that leaky gut that that autoimmune disease because it's gonna cause me more inflammation when my blood and it connects so yeah but i've heard that meat eating takes longer to digest in our bodies the heavy meats the red meats the steaks and stuff they do they do but check this out if you're eating for your blood type you ain't going to encounter no meats that's going to take long to digest in your body because you ain't going to be eating those type of meats on your list the oils are the ones with the most hydrochloric acid so they can break down those meats that we're talking about that take long to digest because they have the hydrochloric acid to do that but ain't no a bet believe it or not if we talk about a ain't no highly beneficial meat for a so the a shouldn't be walking around here thinking it could eat no steak unless the a is living with an o who have made a steak in the house and making the a eat that steak but the a after it nibbles on that steak gonna be out like a light because they don't have no hydrochloric acid in their gut to break that thing down so you know yeah it's gonna take forever for that a to digest the steak and they probably end up in the darn hospital by the, by the end of two or three days i'm telling you the a's have a real real sensitive digestive system they can't handle all of that but you can handle everything on your list for your blood type everything you can you know oh yeah oh somebody 66 answer that for me let me get about here thank you 66 <laughs> yeah the pork and gummy bears and the pork is in um the pork is in actually the um the um the casings if you get like those link sausages too like even if you get it from whole food market you just spent your whole jack and you still got your whole pork if you was trying to avoid that thing because the sausage links that that um that casing that they've stuffed it in that's pork too so you gotta be mindful of that pork yeah i went to your sites i couldn't find the meal plan let's go to the site and look at the meal plan the site is salt of the earth pub.org right let's see let me put that back up in the comment section again that's the name of the site let me check one of these comments up here let's see uh what meat is good for O positive is listed on the meal plan i'm i'm a O. is listed on the meal plan okay so this person said i went to the site and i couldn't find the meal plan so here we are on my website saw the earth pub.org and the meal plan is going to look like let me find it here we go it's going to look like this year it's going to be like a drop of blood drop of blood red and white and that is a complete meal plan for your blood type immediate results we're going to click on it i just clicked on it there you go it popped up so now you see the big old drop of blood you see that big old drop of blood that's the image on the website a complete meal plan for your blood type and i'm going to share with you since you couldn't find it it's on saltoftheearthpub.org i put on here did you know that each blood type has certain foods that they should avoid because they have lectins in them 
which cause negative chemical reactions between the blood and the food itself. Well, now you do. These foods cause inflammation, which leads to tiredness, anxiety, and depression. So that means that they are foods that are highly beneficial that will help each blood type thrive. Learn what they are now. So in this here particular download, it's, it's telling you that it includes seven breakfast, fruit snacks, lunch, herbal teas, dinner, meal plans, with all highly beneficial foods for each blood type. Then it also comes with the foods that should be avoided based upon the blood type. Then it also comes with the complete list of the highly beneficial foods in each category, talking about the seafoods, the dairy, the eggs, the oils, the fats, the nuts, the seeds, the meats, the beans, the legumes, the grains, the cereals, the fruits, the vegetables, the, veg the, veg the beverages, the teas, the coffees, the herbs, the spices, the condiments, the sugars, the additives. All of that is on your list for your blood type. So that's what you get. You get the list, you get the meal plan, and you get the list of everything you should avoid. The picture looks like a drop of blood on my website, solvingyourpub.org. If you don't care about eating for your blood type, you just want to lose some weight real quick for, I don't know, some of y'all love yourself to, to the concert over and then you don't want to love yourself no more. You won't lose weight for the wedding or to, to the summer because you know summer, hot girl summer about to come. So some of y'all going to get hot girl summer bodies and then fall, y'all going to fall back to, to the body that you don't love, but you just, I don't know. <laughs> so if you want to do that thing and just want to learn how to lose weight, get the cheat code. The cheat code of the things you can eat right quick for your hot girl summer. And then you could let your hot girl go and sit in the box because when winter come, you don't want to love no more on yourself like that. I don't know. <laughs> it's hot boy summer this year, T. <laughs> hot boy summer. That's what's up. Get that body right, T. I want you to love yourself every day, though, T. Don't don't be like don't be like that. Love yourself every day. Oh, they got birds flying in my yard. I love birds, y'all. Okay, let me see. Hi, goddess. Hey, grateful. How long you been on? Probably an hour already. Almost two, probably running my mouth. I'm about to wrap it up. Have you heard of, yeah, yeah, I've heard of that one. A lot of the blood types, hey, Kilo. A lot of the blood types have to stay away, and I think I'm one of them. I never really fooled with um, sativa. That's one of those little sweeteners, right? I think I'm one of them, actually, that have to stay away from that. I'll share that with you right quick, because it's only like a page away right here in front of me. Let's see. Well, it's more than one page away. Um, stativa, yeah. That's one for the bees, stativa. That's one we got to avoid. I've heard of it before. I never did use it anyway, though. But, um, yeah, we got to avoid because that'll cause inflammation in us, in the bees. Yeah. Yep, I've heard of it. I use agave nectar. That's the best. That's the best. Look, look at her. Look at her ready. She said, oh man, another thing. She came in. She just got here and came in on something that she can't fool with the most. She said, oh man. But um, yeah, I use agave nectar for everything. Oh wait, there's another um, I'm going to get for the bees, if any of the bees here. I had never used this before. I went and got it at Whole Foods Store the other day because I was inquisitive about it, right? Let me show you. Let me show you. Now, it don't taste good, but I'm going to show you something else that's highly beneficial for us bees. And I just tried the other day. Like I said, it don't taste good, but hey, if you're sick, you can get the beneficial um, bacteria from it. Oh, the beneficial benefits from it. Why they dropped a little bit on it. This is it right here. Molasses. Y'all ever had this before? It's a sweetener. It's highly beneficial for the bees, though. But it's horrible. It don't sweeten nothing. But I still, <laughs> I put, I only put some in my drink because it's highly beneficial, you know, for the digestive system and stuff. And, you know, those sweeteners, if you're taking the highly beneficial ones, they create that uh, pre and probiotic in your gut. See, you don't really need that acidophilus, the little rock the little white thing that come from cows and all that 
gut or from the lab that man made it's in things that have come natural like in your agave or your black um, strap molasses like this here and so it helps with the beneficial bacteria in your gut too but it tastes like crap so what i did when i tasted since i bought a big old ace bottle i um i still put my agave in it so i'm still i'm getting the benefits from it Plus my agave, my agave, now it tastes like syrup. It's really good, really delicious. So that's my two sweeteners now. I only was fooling with agave, but I, like I said, I just wanted to try this here. So yeah, if you um, if you um, if you a bee, if you a bee, yeah, I think that'll be good. I think that'll be good for you. Yeah, A positive. I mean A B. Oh, you a A B kilo? Monk fruits, not sweet enough. For me, oh yeah, thanks, and be also. What about my fruit? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So, um, let me check over here. No, I don't. I don't use that. Um, I am C Y. No, I don't. I mean, I, I guess it, it'll be beneficial for you if um, depending upon your blood type, though. Don't they, do they have, is that the one with the um, vinegar inside of it? Or is it kind of like the, um, is that kind of like the apple cider vinegar type thing with the mother is what I'm getting at? The mother? Yeah, because when you do things with the mother, it has a level of vinegar. All blood types can't tolerate vinegar. Like, um, for example, ABs. ABs, that vinegar is not good for their digestive system. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking the A too. I'm thinking the A, because that's where the AB got it from. Because, <laughs> you know, AB is a combination of A's plus B's diet. And so I know AB can't tolerate that vinegar. So they didn't get that from me being a B, because I know I can have vinegar. So let me see right quick. They must have got that from me, the A side of the, um, the group. Let me see right quick. Um... Yeah, all types of vinegars. Yeah, the A's can't have all types of vinegars. So, so I hope you're not a A or A B and you're fooling with a mother, whether it's from coconut vinegar, whether it's from apple cider vinegar, or any of them fermented vinegar type things that um what they call that sakaru? You know, the vinegar, the, the pickled things, pickled anything, anything that's been set and, and pickling up and vinegaring it up with mothers and all that. A's and AB's. You can't tolerate that. You can't. Yeah. You, you go you go and do it if you want, but it's going to cost you inflammation. It's going to compromise your gut. And it could lead to holes and tears in your gut, ulcers and stuff. And so you'll be back if, you know, grandma say the whole A, make a soft face. So, I mean, I listen to my grandma. <laughs> I listen to her because she be she, you know, she, she used to tell me all kinds of stuff about not listening, so I listen. So I, I hope you, you have that listening factor about yourself. But you could go and do it if you want. I like agave a lot, yeah. Yeah, you could, I can have apple cider. Okay, what you, what you, what you, um, what you would be? What's your website again? Sardiripub.org. You know what, I'm going to come on here. Next time I come on here, I'm going to come on here with a whole... Um, board behind me. Y'all ain't gonna see cabinets. Y'all gonna see a board. I'm gonna have the website underlined. We're gonna be rolling. Website? You need a website right here. What you need? Your B? Nope. You can't have that. What you need? Nope. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have me a little pointer. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do that. Watch. <laughs> Your mama said the same thing. A hard, my mom, my grandma said, a hard head make a soft face. Yeah. It's like, all right, grandma. All right, whatever. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. And she, she was just saying that so I could go get her medicine though, because my woman used to pop pills like right. She had that Sunday through Saturday thing. Didn't I tell you to go get my medicine out of my room? But I was trying to play with my cousin, and then she would be like, "A hard head make a soft face." Yeah, and then I start pouting. All right, grandma, and I walk up to the room. I go get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's your website again? So I gave you the website. It's on the earth pub. Dot org. Let's see. It's swollen ankles a sign of inflammation. Yeah, I thought I answered that already. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or eggs. No. 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 We can't have no 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 types of vinegar. No. So the A's, since you can't have the vinegar, now you got they they I, I taught you how on the meal plan, how to have your put together your herbs and some of your sauces and um, some of the juices that you can have to create a new type of sauce. Because I know you want flavor and stuff. So now you gotta learn how to use those herbs and create different flavorful flavorful flavored salts. Flavored salts that you can have, flavored oils that you can consume, you know, to make an oil with something sweet, some type of salts inside of it, something, you know, a little bit acetic, and you stir that thing up and you put all your flavor in it, you shake it, and you pour it on your salad, you drizzle it on your meat, you know, because I know you want some flavor there, but because your diet is so limited, now you gotta, you know, you gotta be creative. You God, you you create. So get the creative with mindfulness, with the resources that you have in front of it, in front of you. You'll have the meal plan in front of you, and it's gonna tell you your herbs and everything. And you're like, okay, well I know I, I could use this oil, so that's gonna be my base. Oh, I know I could use this herb, so let me see how this herb will go with this herb. Matter of fact, since I don't have that many herbs, I'm going to put this oil with all of these herbs and I'm going to sprinkle this here key lime in there or this orange in there. Do y'all have oranges? I don't even think y'all can have oranges. I'm going to put this key lime up in there or this lemon in there or, you know, or this here fruit in there. And I'm going to make this here my sauce. That's what you got to do when you're on a sensitive diet that's composed of you being more of a vegetarian than a meat eater. And you got to develop this new love for this new diet that you have. And that's just you loving yourself and getting to know yourself on that level. Now, you already ran out there as a prodigal son and got to know yourself and everything that you shouldn't be eating. And it has already caused you inflammation. I think this should be the part of the beautiful moment in your life where you feel good. Where the inflammation subsiding because you didn't change your diet and you done came home. You was a pro prodigal son in pain out there. Ain't no more pain no more when you eat for your blood type. You home back in the bosom of God. Ain't no more just ease no more. You back home. Back home to your first love. So get to loving it. Get to loving it. Get to enjoying it. That's what I would do. I love my new lifestyle. I don't I don't miss no um, crawfish. I'm from the heart of New Orleans. I don't miss no crawfish. I don't miss no corn, no seafood bowls, and none of that. A flavor, the herbs, I still got that. That's what was making them bottom feeders taste good. If that wasn't the case, the people in New Orleans would be jumping up in the water. They're around swamp all, all over the place. They'd be jumping in the water. You would see them on TV jumping in the water trying to eat the crawfish without nothing on it. But they're not doing that. That's not the case. They ain't doing that there. They, they putting that stuff in the boil. They getting, they getting all these herbs that I'm talking about and they putting that up in the boil too. They put a whole bunch of um, garlic up in there. They put a whole bunch of onions in there whole bunch of um of limes in there celery in there that's what was really making them crawfish and, and them pork and everything you eat and taste good it's the flavor from the season so just take the middleman out that's killing you anyway and go for the flavor in the season that's giving you life and manipulate that thing let's see what blood test do you recommend you from louisiana yes i am I recommend the one that I took to um, verify mine again, which is called the Eldon at home kit. That way you ain't got to go dealing with the people out there in the, in the hospital. Because I go, I, look, I practice mindfulness, but I, I know how to pretend. I, I play dumb. I'm not dumb, but I play dumb when I get a chance. Yeah, my list said orange juice were bad. Yeah, I thought so. This stuff is shocking. <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it leads to a better quality of life, though. It is shocking because you was killing yourself with the fog, but now you know better. But yeah, um, the Eldon at home kit from Amazon. This is one right here, E L D O N, and it's really inexpensive. Of um, of, of um, can, can y'all see? I'm putting it close so y'all can see. Eldon at home kit in that little green thing. That's a little needle in there. You prick your little ring finger. Let me put it on this side so y'all can see. And you prick your little ring finger. And when you prick your finger, you know, you use that blood and you put that blood on the card and 
when you put that blood on the cord, the, the plasma in your blood is going to begin to, you're going to, these little sticks, these little white sticks up in here, you're going to put your um, blood in a little circle that comes with the cord. The cord going to probably look like this here. You're dropping your blood in the circles, in the full circle. And so your blood, the plasma in your blood is going to form shapes or, you know, have little lines or groove through it or whatever, right? If it don't form no shapes, then, then you're going to be right here. That's going to be akin to you being old blood type. But then when you see these little shapes or whatever in your blood from the plasma, well, that's letting you know, well, you, you, you're A or you're B or you're AB. It's giving you the code, the cheat code to find out just by you dropping the blood on the cord. But like I say, when I go to the doctor, I play dumb if I was to go because I go... Um, for you know yearly executive wellness what they do you know just do general checks i don't have any sickness or disease or need to go matter of fact i missed last year going anyway when i did go year before last and they had to take my blood they like to take like two darn vials of blood when this here test only needed a little prick from a finger but they were claiming that they need so much and i know that for from the truth so i sit up there and i act like i'm pacing out like oh you're taking too much stop no stop i'm gonna die you know i like to play dumb and but don't be dumb you know like girl look you ain't taking all my blood for these tests if you don't have enough that's fine because i know i don't have nothing i don't even be no i don't even know why i went year before last that's why i didn't go last year but um it's just with something habit for me kind of like and it was free you know when it's free you kind of like want to kind of go but now that I know how they manipulate blood and use our blood and for so many different things, and I know that the blood is tied to our DNA, you know, they be filtering the blood. Don't talk about if you're old. You go there, and they be, they be taking old bloods like it ain't nothing. Because old is the universal blood type, and they can give to all other blood types, right? But only receive it from themselves, like, right? Every other blood type has been a little bit tainted, tainted based upon the things we're eating, things based upon how you know we have grafted and you know multiplied within different races and all of this here so i'll be playing dumb playing like i'm weak and oh no i can't to stop them so if you go you just you know you're gonna pay higher if you go to the doctor to get it done versus you ordering the thing on amazon being in the privacy of your home pricking your own freaking finger and just knowing within seconds but that's on you. Go to the doctor if that's what you want to do. I ain't telling you to just take them over there. I ain't going. <laughs> do you have plans for all positive? Yeah, I have plans for all blood type. You could choose one. You could choose just the one for you. Or on the bottom of the screen. Look, the screen is still right here. So let me show you this here. When you go on the website. Hold on, let's see. Can you see from the glare? So this here is the um, website right here. And at the very bottom... At the very bottom of the screen right here. Oh, wait, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get over here. Where my mouse at? Oh, right here. It's telling you, choose. See? Right here. You can choose A, B, A, B, or all blood types. You don't have to just choose, you know, yours. You can choose all of them. So if you want to know the blood type, I mean, the food meal plan for all blood types, you can select that. If you don't just want just to know yours, that way you will know everybody in your family. And you can look at all of them types of the meal plans, all of the lists, because on the back of them, they're going to have the list. When you look at the list of all of them, the A, the B, the A, B, and the O, you can like highlight, oh, A's could do this, B's could do this. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to cook with this oil. Now I'm going to cook more of this meat. Now, I'm going to make sure I have this type of uh, uh, flavor if you're the cook in the home, you know. You do something like that, that way nobody don't have no more inflammation. And everybody eating for their blood type. It's really, really easy to do. It's easy. Thank you for that, Big T. Key, lime, and lime, the same thing. No, it's not. Key, lime is the smaller one I'm talking about. I'm talking about seeded key, lime. Key lime is the most powerful one. Key lime is like the O, for example. You know how we have the O blood type? That's the um the, the, the master 
the gods, the Anunnaki's, if you know anything about that, you know, the original people in the universe, you know, the first ones, yeah, them right there, they're the masters, right? They're, they're the highest frequency of blood type, right? That's why we all can take from them, but we all can't give to them. They like, they like a whole little clang up there, like, nah, player, we ain't about to have this click tainted. We don't want no, we don't want no blood from you. We just going to take blood from each other, right? Well, the key lime is like that. It's the gangster. It's the highest form of vitamin C. The limes and the lemons, lemons, they're like hybrids of this key lime. Okay? Don't get that twisted. You can eat whatever one you want, but energetically, the most highest frequency can always be the key lime with the seed in it. You can play around with them other lemons and limes that don't have no seed in you if you want to. But I'm telling you, key limes is the one that you want to go after. Key lime. Respect the game. Respect, just like you respect the oaths. If you if you need blood, you respect the oath. Well, if you need vitamin C, respect that green, darker key lime. Okay? <laughs> yeah. What are the signs of inflammation besides swollen ankles? Inflammation. Besides swollen ankles, you feel like a fire feeling inside of you. You could have a headache. Anything that's pain related, there go inflammation. Upset stomach, inflammation. Um, getting bloated is another sign of inflammation. You can't see. You wear glasses. You got inflammation. Your ability to absorb and eliminate has been compromised if you're wearing eyeglasses and you weren't in an accident where something happened to your eye. If you grew into your vision you being lost or you losing it along the way, that's letting you know there's some information up in there. Um, rashes, um, skin issues, fluid field bumps and mucus coming out of them and pus and stuff. Inflammation. You know, like any type of ailment outside of good health, there's inflammation there. There's inflammation in your in your in your in your chest when you have this cough, bronchitis, pneumonia. There's inflammation in the walls of your vagina when you are constantly getting yeast infection inflammation and your balance in that area is compromised. Everything is about having a healthy balance, whether it's in your vagina, whether it's in your gut, whether it's in your saliva, you know, whether it's in your lymphatic system. It's supposed to be in balance in balance to that particular range that that part of your body is because everything on your body is not supposed to be alkaline. Like your saliva is alkaline, right? The hydrochloric acid inside you is supposed to be acidic. Your lymphatic system is where the acid goes, so it's going to be on the acidic side. Your blood is supposed to be nourishment and minerals, right? And there, so it's going to be on the more alkaline side. Everything has a proper pH balance, but when it's out of balance, it's because of inflammation and it's knocking you off on your proper balance at that point. So if there's inflammation in the lymphatic system, that's where them swollen lymph nodes are going to be at. That's where the um, gout is going to be. It's, that's where you're going to have them tonsils swollen here and there. And you're going to have um, the thyroid issue here and there. It's letting you know you got too much acid in your body and it's really easy to fix. It's really easy. It's not the end of the world. You know, I've been seeing, and I haven't got so used to it because I've seen so many people, and I've helped so many people with sickness and disease, and then to the point where it's like, when people say, oh my gosh, I found out that I have cancer. Unless it's like the day or the week before you about to pace away, um, we got time. It's not the end of the world. We could change that thing overnight with the meal plan. By changing your mind on what you call food. That's it. It's really easy fix. And that stuff will come out of you. Ain't nobody out there that'll open you up. You, 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 if you were supposed to be opened up, you would have like a little zipper on you. You ain't got no zipper. Stop letting people open you up to go up in there. Eat for your blood type and let your food work for you. Stop wearing them waist trainers suffocating yourself and you can't breathe now. Just eat for your blood type and so you could be snatched. You could be snacked. You don't even, once you start eating for your blood type, you don't even have to be up in the dirty gym every day because your food's snatching you. I don't go to the gym every day. My food's snatching me and the, your food could snatch you. Ain't no different. The only difference between you and I is the things that we put in our mouth today and yesterday. What you ate yesterday? Hmm? 
Did you eat for your blood type yesterday? I did. I didn't even eat yet today. I was just drinking. I was just drinking some juice. This was my breakfast. And I didn't finish it because I was running my mouth. But that's in alignment with my blood type. Everything I put in my mouth is in alignment with my blood type. Yeah. So there you go. Seafood is hard for me. What's hard for you? What kind of meat? And so on the meal plan, the beef that you can eat, but the meat that you should stay away from as a bee. The meat that you should stay away from as a bee. Let me tell you that right quick, because I don't want you to get more inflammation. But I'll tell you that part. You got to get the meal plan for the one that you need to will get or consume. Where we at? This person asking me, what are the meat that you should stay away from? Well, they want to know what you should eat. It's in the meal plan. I'm giving you what you should stay away from. And from the bees, I'm a bee, but I'm looking at the book and telling you from the book and the um, cheat sheet of this meal plan. Chicken and pork. So that means ham, bacon, chicken, pork, if you're a bee. It's causing you inflammation. It's causing you inflammation. So you don't need to just know. Here's how you, we be sometimes just half doing it. You don't need to just know what meat you need to stay from. You need to know what oil you need to stay from too. Because let's say chicken was neutral for you and it wouldn't inflame you. Well, peanut oil might be some oil that you need to avoid. So if you find it in a peanut oil, oh, we back at inflammation all over again. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 so don't cheat yourself. Get the meal plan. Get the meal plan. So you'll know everything. Your oil, your chicken, your flour, your shake season, you know, your beverages, everything. Your condiments. You want to know that. That way you get to a point in your journey where that way you eat something and if you start feeling bad and you're like, dang, I thought I was eating from my meal plan. What did I have on it? Well, I had da-da-da and then I put this ketchup on the side and then I da-da. Oh, man, they had tomatoes in the ketchup. And now you know. And the next time when you have that thing, you know. Let me let me chill with the, them tomatoes because they, they fire me up. And then you're going to get so good with it to like your whole, your house, your cabinet, your pantry, going to be only highly beneficial stuff. And you're going to avoid sickness and disease. That's you learn yourself. Do it that way. Don't, don't have to ask yourself, y'all. I missed it. Where can I get the blood test? On Amazon. Eldon at Home Kit. E-L-D-O-N. Yeah. You got it. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh. Is that Kilo? Yeah. You are the bomb. Oh, you are too, Anthony. Oh, I like that name, Anthony. Yeah, I got some people close to me with Anthony. Okay, yeah. Yes, they do whatever. Okay. Okay, some people. Not me either. Let's see. Since I'm trying to order the book for type A, but I keep getting messages to choose a product option. Yeah, you got to choose a product option. So you, the message is saying the blood type. So you got to enter your blood type. You can't just buy it, the meal plan, without putting your blood type first or do, it's not going to move forward. So do you know your blood type? You're saying you're type A. So put in blood type A and then keep going. You should be able to go. All right. Is that a website? I just got here. Yeah, my website is, link is in my bio, saltoftheearthpub.org. Yeah, it's in my bio, Big Facts, VIP, Key Lime. You can't make Key Lime pies with one. Oh, okay, y'all talking about pies and stuff? This website is not accepting the aid order. Keep sending me back in air. Wait, let me put, I got the, I got it right here, let's see. Blood type A, add to cart. It's in my cart. View the cart. I'm viewing the cart. It's in my cart. Now let me do, let me put my, I got a little, I got a little um, coupon code that I know of that will work. Let me see. I'm putting in my coupon code to put through the order. I'm hitting proceed to checkout with my coupon code and it's going through. I don't, I don't know, but it, 
is working on my end. It works. I, I promise you, Miss um, Jacqueline, it's working. Can I use the coconut vinegar with key lime and honey instead of lemon? Yeah. But with the bit more you blood type now. So, Tia Tia, coconut vinegar, I'm hopeful that you'll be. Because you can't use no coconut vinegar with no, um, if you're A. And if you're AB, you can't take that coconut vinegar. But the um, key lime would be good for you, either one you are. Wearing glasses can also be hereditary. And you know what's hereditary? The fact that everybody in their kitchen eating the same meal from whoever cooked it. That's hereditary. That's, mm -mm, that's, not, that's not true. That's not true. We've been brainwashed to believe that, but that's not true. That's so not true. It's not hereditary. It's not eating for your, either you eating for your blood type or you're not. Because if you're eating for your blood type, you're going to skip that so-called hereditary thing. You're going to be the one that ain't doing that. It's about that black sheep in the family that changes the mind of the other people in that family. We all have one. And that black sheep was me. The person that's like, oh no, this religious stuff, something ain't right here. Why these people that love God so much hurting so bad? Oh no, this food stuff, something ain't right here. Why all these black people in New Orleans have high blood pressure, obesity, and gout? Hmm? Something ain't right here with the things we eat. That was me. It ain't that. <laughs> I promise you, I wouldn't sit here and lie to you. I've dedicated my life to you, to this here. It ain't that. Because guess who don't have diabetes? Me. My grandma did. It skipped me. Guess who was doing insulin? My grandma did. I don't have no insulin problem. Guess who right now my sister has kidney problem? I don't. Guess who used to wear glasses? Don't me. I don't wear them no more. Guess who ain't experiencing disease? Me. Just me. It skips me. I wonder why it skips me. Well, because my God's favorite and they're not. Nope. though simply because they never realized that they got and they had the power to heal their own shit but i did i realized that thing because i got tired of suffering and i said god dang it i gotta save myself i suggest you save yourself and i believe that that hereditary thing because you could alter your dna dna anytime by altering what is chemically connecting with your blood and food is that's how you alter your dna when you begin to eat all of these, this is why people start to act animalistic in behavior because they want to eat off of the pork. They want to eat off of the chicken. They want to eat every animal. Oh, let me give you some of that. Let me get some of that rat over there. I don't know. Give me some of that horse. Give me some of that turkey. And now they're animalistic in behavior and they don't know why. But they done transferred the blood of these dead animals inside and mixed and matched with their blood. And it gave them all kind of chemicals that was releasing and causing inflammation in inside, inside them. And they wondering why they wish somebody would. Why they animalistic in behavior. All right, believe what you want, baby. But I mean, I'm living witness of it right here. I'd have been through it already. Yeah. Okay. So how do you get rid of inflammation? You eat for your blood type. Great information. Thank you, babe. Uh, what's the fix? Eating for your blood type? That's the answer to everybody. I got I got 65 new messages. Okay. The answer is eat for your blood type. The answer is, oh, okay. How do I begin to eat for my blood type? You, you find out your blood type. This is everybody. I'm asking everybody a question right here. You find out your blood type. You go to Amazon. You put in Eldon at home kit. Now you know your blood type. Now you're empowered. Then after you know, oh, I'm a B, I'm an A, I'm an AB, I'm an O. Oh, what do we do now, guys? Now we go to the website, solidarepub.org. Now we get our meal plan for our blood type. So when you log in, you, if you're a B, you click on B. Now there's more stuff you got to do now. Now that you see, you can't just sit there and see, yeah, yeah, I know my blood type, y'all. I see it. I see it. No, that ain't it. You ain't start yet. You got to do it. Now that means you got to get in the, in, the, in the car. You got to turn the car on in order to get to the store to get the things that are in alignment with your blood type. You got to buy them. You're still not done. You're still not done. I promise you there's more work, but you're almost there. Now you got to eat it. You got to put it in your mouth and you got to chew it and you got to let it break up that old mucus. 
the mold, you got to let the food you eat create a chemical reaction, a new one now, not the old kind that you're used to that causes you inflammation, a new one that's going to help you with your digestive enzymes, that's going to help you with diversity in that gut. You know, your beneficial bacteria, yeah, it's going to help you get balance up in the air. Yeah. And so now you're still not done. You're still not done. I know you went to the store. I know you ate it. I know you practiced this. But now you got to give it a chance to work. Now you got to give it a chance to work by drinking water and letting this stuff come out of your urine. You got to give it a chance to work by eating it all, the stuff that you bought from the store, and letting it come out, the waste. But what's coming out of you now is your old waste, the stuff that's been in your dumpster, so to speak, for years that you never cleaned out. You got to get that out. And then when you get that out, as you get out, that out is going to be less foul and less foul until you get to a place where you're finally now in balance. And then, then you've arrived. And then you realize, Lord, I've been letting go of inflammation and mucus every time you go to the restroom you're gonna be like oh my god what the heck was that oh my god i feel better this time even better than i did last time oh my god i have more energy now this is how you get rid of it this is the momentum but you gotta do it you can eat. i could talk to you every day on here if you want and i'm retired i got time to do it and I love you, and I'll do it for you. But until you go to the store and eat the thing and start letting and seeing this stuff come out of you, you're not going to get the results. You're just not. And I want you to get the results. I, I mean, we could, we could talk. But I want you to get the results. You could be up in the comments talking about, yeah, man, it, it works. Not only is she living proof, but I'm living proof too. Because I, I once, like her, wore glasses. I once, like her, had vertigo and irritable bowel syndrome and this and that and the third. She right. She telling you the truth. The doctors ain't going to tell you this. Okay? I'm just telling you. Preach this. <laughs> Jacqueline, how do I eat from my blood type? Oh, um, the meal plan is in my website. I mean, in my bio. The link is in my website. And I say, thank you for dropping knowledge to adjust my habits. Yeah, yeah. And you look good. Thank you. I appreciate that, Bridget. What is the name of the website, please? So the org. Let me put this back up there. I don't know. It's getting lost up in the comments. Let's see. Back on my website again. And the link is in my bio. Um for all blood types. Damn, how old are you? <laughs> wait, wait, do I want to know how old I am? I'm, I'm I retired early, I'll say that much. <laughs> I'm not old. Old. How long does it take to get back um, in balance once you start eating for your blood type? Well, I, well, I would tell you this. You'll be progressing way faster than me because when I started on my journey, I didn't know initially. I just went cold turkey and just got rid of all the meats. So not until I sat with myself and started paying attention to how everything was affecting me that I really sought to feel. So you have it all in your hand, everything that's highly beneficial. So for you, within the first week, within the first week, within the first time that you consume some of these things that you never consumed before, you're going to feel it. And it's like I said in the beginning of the video, it's going to be like a, like almost like a fire going out, like a, a soothing, like, <sighs> like I remember the first time that I consumed something highly beneficial for me and I felt my inflammation in my body. Matter of fact, it had key limes in it. That's why I always talk about key limes. And all the pressure in my back because the key lines help to get rid of the um, uric and lactic acid buildup. All the pressure in my back immediately began to subside. And I was like, oh, I, need to, I need to drink some of that more. It's almost like you're getting like a, a dopamine like release chemically that's going on in your body. So it shouldn't take long at all. You're really going to get instant results. And then you're going to find the things that's, that's going to be some things on your on your um, meal plan according to your blood that's going to make you feel good even more. And then you're probably going to gravitate toward that thing even more like a certain juice maybe, you know, that's going to help you even more than others. And then that's going to become your favorite drink of all. That's why I put so many, you know, you know, diverse 
amounts of drinks on it because some are going to soothe you more. Because believe it or not, this right here, I'm a bee. I'm a bee. And I always have orange juice, like, right? And so this here is kumquat juice. You know, those are the little tiny little looking orange juice. It's, it's from the citrus family, but it's, you know, it's orange juice. And so like if you're A, B, you're not supposed to have any oranges or orange juice. So you might want to get you some kumquats too. And so they still have the beneficial um, vitamin C like oranges, but they're not the same. And yet they are highly beneficial. Not only are they highly beneficial for the bees, but kumquats is highly beneficial for all um, blood types, right? So orange juice will cause an AB to be inflamed, but an orange from the kumquat juice will not. So this kumquat juice, now mind you, I don't have Valencia oranges. Those are the best oranges, the most powerful oranges, seeded oranges that are really, really good. But this freaking orange juice here, whole nother level of good. Whole nother level. I mean, I went night, night. I started this last night, and I normally, because I only drink juices most of the time, like I got cases of coconut water and stuff. I started this last night, and I got a little bit down, and I fell asleep on this shit juice. Because it was like, whew, this stuff is good. You can Feel this happening in your body because of the same chemical reaction, but I'm eating or drinking for my blood type. Now, the same chemical reaction that happens that causes inflammation when you eat against your blood type, well, the opposite type positive chemical reaction is happening when you're eating for your blood type. And so you feel soothed when you're eating for your blood type. But if this wasn't for my blood type, I will be instantly inflamed and I wonder why. You see what I'm getting at here? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Must have been mama tree. She knew. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't know what that's all about. Maybe y'all talking to yourself. How long does it take? Okay, I read that one. Somebody say how old are you? What's the name of the website? Salt of the Earth Pub .org. I put it in the um, comments. That's what I did. Hello, just ran across your page. Thank you for the knowledge. Wow, yeah, you're welcome. Website Salt of the Earth Pub .org. Yeah, phew. That makes sense. Okay, that's what's happening. If it makes sense to you, you go there route. What it feels good to you, you do that thing. Don't get out of alignment from how you feel when you're putting something in your mouth. Instantly sit with yourself. If it don't feel good to your body, stop eating that thing because that means it's causing inflammation. But if it's making you feel good and giving you energy, how about you get more of that? And you're going to find that you're going to want, you're going to want to digest all of what's on that meal plan because you're going to want more of that thing. Okay. <sighs> According to this person asks, what is the difference between all positive and negative uh, antidote in, in, in the blood? But according to eating for your blood type, when we when you're ordering from my website, whether you're B, negative or positive, you still need to order for B, right? So it's all inclusive. So when you're eating for your blood type, the meals that are good for the negative or the positive, they're all going to be grouped together because it's all inclusive. They're together in this, right? The blood is just in one has been tainted more than the other. Just a short answer. It's just been tainted a little bit more than in, in the other. The negative one has been tainted more than the, I mean, less than the other. Yeah. Yeah, I just went shopping before I met you. Now I gotta go to the food house. I don't know what you bought from that store, but if you already know, oh, you got the meal plan? You already know? Yeah. One is tainted more than the other. One is positive for more tainted strips in their body than the other and um and, and that's pretty much what happens just because of the things we eat just because of us mixing and matching with you know different people you know our blood gets tainted just because we we are we are stem from the old and we along the way have our own human experiences that's the best way i want to tactfully put it without stepping on anybody's toes. But if you know, you know. If you don't know, you don't. 
is not your season. Can you buy that juice? They say, oh, no, no. They say one right here, you talking? No, I made this. I made this. So I bought the um, kumquats. And what I did was I put kumquats, a really, really small little orange juice. Like you could actually eat them with the skin on it, right? And so um, I put them inside of a blender with a um, bit of water, a bottle of water. And then I got a strainer and I sifted the pulp, you know, or the peel off of it. And I had this here, water and juice from kum kumquats. And I added some agave. Now that'll be the perfect thing for you to do for your family. I just gave you something that's really beneficial for the, everybody in your family. For every blood type right there. Kumquat juice. If you have some, some people have darn kum kumquat trees in their yard. I had to go all the way to the Asian market, but I'm having me a tree next year. I had to go to the Asian market, the international market to get mine. And kumquats are really expensive in the Asian market because they're really, really powerful. And they work for everybody. And the Asians know, they know everything about health and wellness over there. They got all the exotic fruits and stuff over there. And so you just put that together and sweeten it with agave. Agave is a sweetener that's sweetened for everybody, too, for everybody's blood type. Instead of that white toxic sugar. And you sweeten that thing, and now you have your own homemade orange juice. Now you don't need to go messing around with the Tropicana's and that simply made stuff. That's simply chemicals out there anyway, because that ain't real anyway. That's been manipulated and altered. They don't even put the ingredients on half of that stuff because they know that they they, they don't even lie no more. They just like, okay, let me just take the ingredients back because we've been lying for so long. They're catching on. Let's just don't put nothing and just look, wait for the little ducks to come quacking that don't know no better. You know? So. <sighs> so, no, you can't buy. You got to make it. You got to be your own healer. Love you, sis. Thanks for your help. You are so welcome. Thank y'all for being here. I'm about to wrap this up. I'm getting to the bottom of these comments. Let's see. I only drink water. And that's another thing. Make sure you drink your water with sodium bicarbonate inside of it, a.k.a. baking soda. Make sure you drink water also with electrolytes inside of it, a.k.a. Um, Celtic salt. Because even for the A's that have them sensitive digestive systems, is need the hydrochloric acid and you get your hydrochloric acid by your proper salt you see so your water should have all this spring water should have all this you turn like an evian for example around an evian bottle of water and you'll see sodium bicarbonate that's pure baking soda because spring water comes with that you'll see electrolytes and sodium because salt comes you get that from your salt because salt has sodium and your electrolytes your minerals your life force so do not drink reverse osmosis water is what I'm getting at. Do not sit there and drink distilled water all day is what I'm getting at. Because it's hungry water, it'll strip you of already the minerals. And if you have this sickness and disease, you need your minerals because you might have parasites that's sucking your minerals from you. And then if your water don't have no minerals inside of it, you really going to just be drinking water and just urinating all day long. Because the water is just going through you. It's not being absorbed inside you because you need some type of magnesium inside of you to fully absorb water and magnesium is really something a lot of people who are toxic or deficient in for example cancer patients they're often really really low in magnesium in in d3 because it's not being absorbed because the minerals being stripped from them because they're not needed for their blood type and a host of parasites is inside of them at the core of them and if they were eating for their for their blood type them parasites, that information, and all them extra acids and that toxicity will all be expelled out of their body. It's really that simple. And I done told y'all over and over and over again about it. So for those who you, of you who did not get the um, eating plan for your blood type, then you're not ready. Go back out there some more and, and you know, maybe, maybe you'll be back when, you know, when you get the leaky gut. Maybe you'll get back when you're on dialysis. Maybe you'll get back when you get a little bit older because you still got a little bit more wilding out to you. Sometimes it's just like that, you know. Sometimes it's just like that. Like I said earlier, my grandma said, a hard head, make a soft ass. So you go back out there and you eat against your blood type some more. And you experience a little bit more dis-ease because you're not going to stop until you get tired. And, and that's, for, that's based upon your tolerance level of tiredness, okay. So, anyway. I'm about to go sit outside. It's a beautiful day out here in Arizona, and I see the birds out there flying. And I'm about to go and um and um sit underneath the sun. The sun is shining, 
and I'm going to watch my little hummingbirds. And I'm just going to enjoy and I'm just going to just be. But this video, though, was from my heart to yours, baby. Be blessed. Should not we have some parasites inside of us for health reasons? Yeah, yeah, but the good got our way to bad, though. It's about a healthy balance with them parasites, so you don't want them taking all your life force.